swear to God, every time I come on this channel, it's like I don't feel right if I don't hear it, bro. Because, you yeah. know, there's a lot of a lot of times Sanchez, you'll get on, you'll start, you know, playing his music and everything. And I'll be jamming too, but it's like, I, I really look to hear that, bro. So I don't think you should remix or anything. Leave it like that, man. Yeah, that's it's, literally. That's a, a classic player. right there. We we can't mess with that, man. We can't mess with it. Hey, I, I, I feel you. I respect it, but I, I show what I, I show what I have an instrumental with, like in the background, bro, Sanchez. Like, I, I'm just saying, man. That's like trying to remix the Living Color theme song. I want to hear, you can do what you want to do. Now, if anybody come try to remix that, we beating them up, dog. We going to beat them up. No, nah, bro. We want to hear that like that. You know it's one of them moments. Yeah. Hey, um, bro, you know, um, Silas had asked about the um, Pink Floyd album, about the cover, the Triangle. And it's yeah. so crazy because... The Vesica Pisces is what gives you that triangle too, you know, which is merging. You know, oh, it's like so you coming out of the Pisces era into the Aquarius mm -hmm. era is showing but, that. Ooh, I that's the hoodie me myself got mm -hmm. on on the but, um, but but the reason why I even bring it up too, the Pisces era, because right now they got us thinking we still in like Aries, like the sun rises at six o'clock in Aries. It doesn't. You know, now it's rising in Aquarius. That's where the eclipse matters so much. And, you know, if you can see the symbol of Pisces as well, you know, it's showing you it's the master card. But that it's the first calculator. I can go in more. That's Mary. You know, they'll show it's you the that. ones and the zeros, too. Yeah, it's binary. But literally, you see the two circle binary. I call it the demi merge, you know, which is okay. demi merge, but it's the. Because demi is medi, you know, medi, medium is the root word of medium, you know, it's everything that happens in that oval, man, it, it's literally yes, well, the, well, It's the crazy projection. because when, when you say you call it the, what I forgot what you call it, when I said, demi yeah, demi urge, right, is literally the merge, the yes, merger. Sir. And that's why, right, when we, when we look at the demi urge, you will see that it's, uh, it's, I'm gonna have to let somebody go. Hold on, somebody got to get off of here. They run, they got the rumbly mic. That was BZ. That y'all muted up right away. So oh, yeah. you said it. <laughs> yeah, that's cars in my background, dog. Oh, my yeah. bad. I'm sitting. My bad. Got to mute up. Uh, yeah, yeah, mute, mute, mute up, up a sec. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, demiurge is literally the merge. You take the merge, demiurge, and that's how you get demiurge. And if you look at it. It's a deity that's giving you like a yin and a yang together. The merging of the lower self and high self. We're the demiurge. The concept right, of the, the mind and the body together. Yeah. So is there a higher inner. merge? Like, 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 so like, there's a demi in the merge, right? A the demi keys. merge, right? Is there a higher merge? Like a, a lighting merge? Like I'm using I don't the understand. Of, well, me, the thing me, is, when you, when, you, I'm, when I'm, you throw I'm, in... I'm yeah. Well, well, listen, when you throw in custom terminology, it takes the message somewhere else. I never heard of that kind of merge. I've only heard of the demiurge. And so I researched that, and that's how I come to my conclusion. I don't really bring in a foreign term that just say, well, is there? If it is, I don't know. But <laughs> no, I, I, can, I can go in no, about the demi I was just, just speaking on, speaking on, on, on the polarity real. to the demi I know, but that, like that's, the merge. You know what that's I'm saying? Literally, like, the definition of the polarity, the merge. So you can nigga, you merging from every angle. You see what I'm saying? Up, down, left, in and out. It's merging to okay, the Okay, up, down, left, square, A, yeah, A, so, A, square type so shit. So demi, okay. so this is what I meant when I say demi is medi. You get it? It's the it's the it's oh, the, the root meta? word. Oh. Demi is medi. It's literally middle, you know? Let me, let me make an announcement, know? please. Man, let me make a quick announcement. I want to say appreciate everybody that's sending in super chats right now. Shout out to Big Dog Philly, to A Sense of Awe, and to D. Allen Warren. I thank y'all so much for those super chats. The brother, uh, the brother's coming through. His Sense of Awe hit me with the big 50 cent. Right, and then D. Allen with the five dollar super chat, OG with the ten dollar super chat. Appreciate the love, guys. 
And um, shout out to the new channel member, A Sense of Awe. I appreciate you joining the channel. Channel, sorry. And appreciate all the super chats, man. Hell yeah, yeah. Shout, shout the out, love, family. Shout out, shout out to my sister Katrina, flat motherfucking power. Thank you, my sister, for the super chat. Appreciate everybody that's coming from the other channel over here. Uh, go ahead and when you come in, hit the like and share button so we can get the numbers back up and get the people back over here. Appreciate y'all. And once again, shout out to the OG Big Dog Philly and to my sister Irene. Says, so happy to be here, flat motherfucking power. I really appreciate y'all for real. Real talk. Um, I, uh, Somebody was speaking. Go ahead. You got it. My bad. Thank y'all. You know, I was thinking about all of these eclipses, all of these meteors we predicted and asteroids, all this stuff that happens in the heavens. These things are called celestial events. And I was peeping that the root word of celestial is cell, like it's cellular level. Like, could this be more, more signs of like how What's happening up here is happening in, in our cells. You know what I'm saying? Celestial events. Am Already. I reaching? No, not nah, that. hell no, nah, you ain't reaching, bro. It's in the word, you know, like CL. You know, and I tell you, the double L is just the energy once you merge it. It's like the whole Aleph bet is to be merged. You know what I'm saying? But... You were spot on, my nigga. Cell is self. It's also self. You know what I'm saying? S E L F. But you spot on, bro. Yeah. Yep. It traps in it in cells. They use that term for a reason to trap the human being in. They call it a cell. And also, when you pull up a cell, it's it looks like a a turtle field. It looks like a little donut. And so, literally, it's a copy and paste as above, so below, like you were talking about. It's the eleven oh, code. Oh man. Code. I'm trying to mod Irene up, and I messed around and blocked her by mistake. We good. My yeah. bad. So, so, thank you, Irene. I got you straight. Appreciate it. And so sorry about that, me, myself. You got it. Oh, no, you good, man. Yeah, this technology. I already know. Yeah, I used to be in uh, user interface tech, uh, tech and uh, tech support. But, yeah. Um, yeah, man. All it is is the sacred 11 code, right? They categorized and documented that they say, you know, you about you know about blue beam and blue brain is where they map the actual dimensions of the brain. The the number just happened to be eleven. Eleven just happens to be what the shape of a parallel is in mathematics. Eleven just happens to be the number that when you put it with any other number, it just doubles that number. Eleven times three gives you thirty-two. Eleven times four gives you forty-four. Eleven times five. So literally, that's like when we were talking about looking up at the universe and how it refracts and mirrors what's within. Literally, that's all science talks about. But that goes back into ancient culture, too, because they were science, modern science. You know, understanding the English wasn't the first time it was understood this way. And that's why, you know, I up with this channel. And that's why, I, you know, I first sparked over here. You know, I had to pick a little fight. To even when the first time I got over here, the only reason you he's like, man, let this thing come here. He's like, who is this person in there, Slim Carter? He's like, yep. Then I turned to me myself, but yeah, been here for years, right? But the information keeps me here. The knowledge, the research, how deep you fit to go down this rabbit hole is, is yeah. like Alice in Wonderland. But yeah, that number 11 specifically is just, um, what, they, what they mapped out the brain dimensions to be. It's what they're saying the universe is. It's a mirror verse. Um, it's the sacred number of multiplication and getting the double effect the doppelganger and the actual clone. It goes into all types of stuff. But yeah, y'all got it. What 11 is. But yeah, I want to make another announcement. Let me give a shout out to Sogio Metric. Thank you for the super chat, my brother. He says Sanchez Cocinado. <laughs> Sanchez Cocinado. And let me give a shout out to One Not Two He. My bad. I know I'm butchering that. Thank you, my brother. Shout out to United with Earth's Energy and to Raphael Ruffin and to Verify. He said, keep doing what you're doing. And shout out to Garden of Eden, 144. And shout out to Ruby Speaks. Let's clap it up. Yo, shout out to all of y'all. I appreciate the love. Real talk. 
you need that applause button that sound like real people clapping. You need that. Yeah, I, 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 I got it, but I don't know if y'all heard it. Oh, let me know the nah. sound. I ain't sharing the sound. There you go. Y'all are here yeah. for now. Hey, yeah, appreciate yeah, bro, the super chats, man. I really do. We appreciate you, my nigga. You've been going ham, even with the stream right. on your channel earlier, man. That was, that was fire, bro. The whole, the whole shit, you know? So, hell yeah, the people I, showing love and support, man. That's what's up. I think that, um, you know, with all of the celestial events going on, that uh, it's a lot of fucking, you know, like the Baltimore Bridge. We got war breaking out all over the world. And I do think that um, when people say, well, all of that is a distraction from what's really going on in the heavens. I want to say really everything going on on the ground. If you looking at that, that's the same shit happening in the sky. And um. But I don't, I'm not in the lane of really connecting the world events to the heavens. That's a different level of astrology that I lead to other people. But yeah, let me give to a, a big shout out to Flat Earth Trini. Thank you so much for the love. Says sending love to the God Bro S uh, is still flat. We checked flat motherfucking power. That's for sure. Yeah, that was fire. The last time I checked, it was flat, too. <laughs> Real talk. Yeah, man, it, it's crazy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going I'm to let y'all build on the panel for a second. I got to holler at the old lady. Yeah, we got to, this is a casual round table, flat motherfucking power. This is like uh, Bro Sanchez TV is like us kicking it in my bougie ass living room. But this is the den. You can take your week. You can waste shit in here. Like y'all can join this bitch. This is this is what it is over here. Salutes to just we ain't gonna do no key triggering profanity words that can get my monetization gone. So let's be respectful. That's all. Appreciate the look. Hey Reggie P, thank you for the super chat, my brother. He said, thanks for dropping the whole truth and not just crumbs. Man, I appreciate that. Hell yeah. Shout That's out to the beach. Ain't it, ain't it though? A, a united with Earth's energy. Appreciate the love once again, says Sanchez. Thanks for keeping this channel alive. Flat power will never die. Hell no. Let's drop one for it. This our baby right there. There's so many memories over here, man. <laughs> This is like an old clubhouse that we built when we was kids, but all of us got old and we moved out the hood and shit, but we came back to the hood and was like, let's go drink in the old clubhouse, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That old shed, that old garage that don't nobody was like, yo, y'all remember? Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm finna go grab me some butt lights real quick and yeah, keep this shit going no man and hold it down respectfully and yeah since it's friday man we chilling we in the den baby y'all got it oh, already yeah yeah what's good with it panel hey what's cracking man it was good g <laughs> yeah already it's all about that organite over here because <laughs> no yeah, man but I'm <laughs> yeah but uh yeah man this uh this um this thing like so when we're talking about the double split experiment and we're talking about the uh the the Pink Floyd album uh concept, right? It I have this whole concept that that, that kind of Bro Sanchez built it and I kind of just established it as he went about the sin and the sim, which is like the quote unquote information going into formation, right? So like when we're talking about this uh, this whole like um this whole eclipse thing right is it going the other way around is the formation going into or is the information or you know the opposite of information going into formation is the formation turning back into information if you know what I'm saying in the concept of the Pink Floyd album concept now here's the thing all right now here's here, here's a gem for you my nigga. Like if I, cause I look at all y'all, even if y'all older me, like you know, little brother, or look at that's just what I am, an oldest brother. Whenever you speak, don't ask us nothing. Just tell us exactly what you know and what you found out in the information you researched, cause you know the answer to that question. But you asking that question go lead to them jumping down your 
you know, effing felt. So don't ask nobody on the panel no more questions ever again. Just tell them your knowledge. It's going to be deep because we already know you deep. And then let other people build off of it if they want to. So answer your question. You already know it's a counter reverse. You already know about the double helix and DNA. You already know what DNA is. It, it derived, it's a derivative of life. So this is what we build off of. So yeah, just combine your thoughts and your imagination. And we all build our imagination based off of the source light, which is the sun. So even though we got an individual understanding of reality, it's still connected to a source that connected to another source. It's noted up. And so the universe moves in like a tra like traffic. If you was to look down and watch ants move, it's not in a straight line, even though they're going back and forth from the same focal point, right? So it is, a, um, well, like I said, it is a focal point, but there's different avenues and different paths each person can take to get to the same end goal, right? And that's what we talk about a lot over here, the different levels and the cycles. Are we going to cycle back through again? Or are we going to get lost? And by we, I mean our light, not just the physical thing that you can see on screen. And a lot of people is like, yeah, but, but the light within that moves the thing that you see on screen. And always there will be a physical and spiritual warfare. It's always that in real time, after time. And that's why when we get things and people being confused, like the Baphomet, and I ain't gonna go too far off, but the dude that invented it said that the spirit can't feel pain or whatever, right? That's a lie. <clears throat> That's not how any of the, any of anything or anybody that studies spirit energy in the realm beyond works, because that realm goes with the same type of politics, the same type of jail. How you jail an angel up? How you in, how you do all this? How you put anything in captivity that's not flesh and bone like us allegedly, right? So. You know, the energy in the light always will manifest into the physical, what we call or think is the physical realm. And you know what's crazy, is, myself, yeah, yeah. you know, because I, I just kind of want to answer him question, his question too and salute to myself. But Silas, you know, when you if you see my, my, my profile picture here while I'm speaking, the O and the X, just imagine Earth has a set cycle and the government that governs our world you know earth and world is two different things there's world within worlds but just think of them as the hex the h-e-x you know what i'm saying or the x it still all ripples to what earth really is how the sun and moon move and how the stars move this is how you get electricity so this is the knowledge that these people know you see what i'm saying and now they conquer the world with l with l or electricity or ox which is the alphabet. Now, all of this shit is just playing out in time, you know what I'm saying, until we realize. And it's crazy that we're doing this stream before even the eclipse, you know what I'm saying? Just to know and receive knowledge back for self. But I just want you to see my, my profile picture, though, Silas. It, in our time, I left, which is God, electricity, you know, frequency and vibration that gives you a currency or gives you a current. You, in our turn, it's CERN, you know what I'm saying? And that's literally to harness your energy. And when you can harness someone's energy, you can create Neuralink, you can create a reality to throw virtual beings in, you know, an ox reality, you know? And it's just so crazy because this shit is all in our languages. It's it, even looking at the CERN machine. That's your zero and one again. You know what I'm saying? It's also the, the earth symbol. You see the cross in the middle? You see what yeah. I'm saying? But it's the unit circle. Like, it's the unit circle, you know? And I wish everyone out there that's even listening can pull up the unit circle, you know, because this is where all our math is in. Everything that they govern us with. This is how you get X, Y, Z. This is how you can understand colors, symbols. You know, it's the reason why this is also the symbol of Earth. Now, when you double this shit, now you can get the Vesica Pisces. Now you can calculate Earth. You get the graph. You get the toroidal feel from the hyperboloid. It's zero and one again. So it's always going to be a polarity in reality. You see what I'm saying, Silas? This is literally yeah. the zero and one or the zero and X. Just to get back to your point. You know, but um, I wish bro had the prison up now, you know, that that you had brought up earlier about the um, Pink Floyd album cover, 
Because yeah. I like how you had said sell, you know, sell. That's why they so put people in the cell. Hold on, let me move. Mm -hmm. But the but the prism is also the prison. But it's 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 where you stand in the level of the prison. You know what I'm saying? In the prism. Yeah. You know? So yeah, it's the always prison, a, because every because like uh looking outside of prison prism and prison and looking at it as a shape and being inside of the shape. There's a polarity within the shape and you're the neutral zone of the polarity. And to get out of that prison is to expand out of that quote unquote simulation or to expand past the, the, uh, the, uh, the reference point or the, uh, the, you know, the, in, in our reference, it'd be like the, the color phases or whatever it may be, because I'm looking, I, I'm looking at like that one picture that bro Sanchez brought up with the freaking, um, with the eclipse and the moon right next to it. And like I'm kind of psyched out a little bit because like like can, can anybody else explain that shit like on like a level where do you know what nodes <laughs> are? Do you know what N O D E S is? You know what nodes are? See, our I mean, ancestor they depicted this because they understood frequency, vibration, which is energy. You see what I'm saying? So you know about the it, oh my god, think of the division symbol. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, and it's yeah. so crazy because these four texts, you know, plus, minus, division, and multiplication, you put them all together, they depict the same shit. You know what I'm saying? So right. think of the nodes. In fact, the Hindus, they depicted it as, um, or the Vedics, they depicted it as um, Rahu and Ketu. You know, so that's why, like, even me knowing that the eclipse is coming up, Silas, Man, I've been watching the moon for about a month, you know. But now I realize yeah. it's gonna be a new moon. So like, yeah, I got an app. Clip like two days ago. Uh -huh. like, so no, 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 no. Hold on, Silas. So like, I got an app where I'm already tracking the moon to the eighth. You know what I'm saying? But I know it's not a. It's gonna be a new moon. But it's not in the constellation that they're telling you in it is, because our whole shit is on a X. It's on a. <laughs> It's like they are still keeping you in Aries. The sun doesn't rise. Aries arise. It doesn't rise anymore at 6 a.m. We've already left that cycle or that eon. Or You know what I'm saying? It's like they're keeping you. I sum it all up as back to the future. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if I could show you what I'm talking about, you know, I got, you know, I can show this shit. But all this shit is the same shit bro and they make technology from it to keep harnessing you back to this point you know like this is literally they got and they called it i left this isn't like coincidence yo, yo um i was i was i was googling the um the 144,000 hertz you googled 144 hertz and you got 150 and you got 125 i think that's what the numbers were for desire and um uh, and um something else i forgot but um there's a there's an actual frequency called the 144,000 hertz frequency and it's a it, they call it a healing frequency that's what they utilize the concept as right but it's a it's a merger like if you want to look at it like that right it's it's merging the 3d with the quote unquote 5d right and so the reference to that is that I was thinking like 3D, 5D, is that like the reference of the desire and the other thing that he was saying? Like, like I, I, I'm just pondering on that because I'm just bringing you all the information. No, you're you, on point. 144, you know, that's like, see, all this shit is light. It's vision, it's spectrum. Right. So even 144 degree, that's, that's half of a triangle. Think of the five-pointed star. This is all in five. It's half of a leg. It's a square feet. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's you, more about, about harnessing. Like it's more about it's more about harnessing and projecting light, my nigga. You know, which is your energy. You know, right? We right. are the act ions. We are the actions. You know, that's why it's called even an ionosphere. You're always gonna get that duality. You see, as above, so below. You know, them seven layers of the atmospheres that bro was showing earlier in his stream, you know, it's the seven platonic solids. It's all circles. It's a ring, you know, ring around the rosy. The rosy is maru. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
That's yeah. why most women are named Mary Rose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There, yeah. No, nah, big facts, my nigga. But these motherfuckers, they they took the truth and they hexed us. You know, that's why our whole alphabet, everybody speaks the hexadecimal system. No matter what do think, their do you alphabets think that the hex are. Really, do you think that the hex came from the the? And I know this might be a little out there, but do you think it came from the patriarchy, like like switching from the the feminine? Nah, that's, to the that's exactly what it is, Silas. It's the history from her story, and I can't believe Disney doing this shit. That bro brought that up earlier. They got a what a movie or something coming out about her story celebrating. Hey, that shit crazy, man. It's like they do it to us too. But, but no, nah, you know, but. Yeah, but not nah, yeah. it's all the same shit, you know. It's switching you or panning you away from truth. They tilted you forty five degrees. That's why all they gods, you know, all their left stand in forty five degrees. You know what I'm saying? Within the circle, the unit circle, the universe. Okay, I wanted to look up that. The you you said the unit circle. Yeah, U N I T. That's why you say U N I T Y. Mm -hmm. I'm going to unite us back all together, though, so we can have our communication. I mean, community back together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, it, that, it's crazy, though, because it seems like all this shit for all these times and years that we've been sitting down listening to Bro Sanchez, it's like all this shit he is talking about. It's like we probably on our way to experiencing some of that shit. Oh, most definitely, especially if we be more light pulled into the uh, eclipse and, and uh, you know, put the veil of truth over everybody's eyes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit, that shit is crazy. And it's like, it's like no matter what the time is, it's like you know that, like I say, the powers that be or whatever is going to do whatever they can to try to prevent it from happening. And the way it's looking, because I don't know if anybody is aware of the fact that several states are preparing for a state of emergency on that day. So it, it almost like, it's almost like I don't think they could prevent it from happening. Maybe they can reduce uh, some of the people from from being affected in a positive way. Uh, you know what? Yeah, because yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Them missiles that they finna shoot into the eclipse ain't gonna do shit. Real well, talk. Yeah. Because know, they, they try to use a physical attribute in order to affect some spirit. Well, you're talking about the you're most talking. they can do is probably put more poison uh, maybe, but... Uh, check this out, though. Like you said, they're using a physical attribute to affect something spiritual. Maybe they not, bro. Because the name of them things are sound missiles. So maybe they're putting up uh, some type of frequency to affect whatever frequency is coming or a uh, if i may bro if i may bro like yeah y'all have y'all ever have y'all ever took on the reference of like the sky falling and the concept of the sky falling would be plasma falling from the sky not water from falling from the sky if if that is if we're utilizing that reference to to shoot a sound missile into the atmosphere would be to make another dome within the quote unquote moving waters that God separated, which was the actual waters, which was technically the plasma, not necessarily the H2O, but the waters as in like the entirety of, you know, existence, which is basically splitting the plasma and creating a dome and putting something in that dome, just as a reference, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when I like when I say a sound, I'm actually speaking of like frequency. So uh, I'm saying it could be a type of frequency to either to either block whatever frequency is coming or to affect us from that frequency that would that would keep it blocked. And the reason why I say that is because, like, I've been thinking for the longest time that for some reason the sun and moon is different from the rest of the universe. When we look at the stars, and I don't know if it's because it's in a dome with water or whatever, that we see these vibrational frequencies take place. But we don't see that with the sun and the moon. I'm actually thinking that the sun and the moon was put there as this frequency block 
um, that we should be receiving from the from the natural universe, like the rest of the animals of this world is. It's almost like there's a block on humanity, but it's not blocking um, these animals because they still abide by the laws of nature. So, so it's like, what type of frequency is that? The reason why I say it's the the sun and the moon is because the moon, uh, the the ancient name for the for the moon is Luna, and you know what I'm saying. That's a root word for lunatic lunacy is associated with um, certain behaviors that could be caused, that, you know, mental illness or whatever the case may be. But when you, you know, look at you know, you know the solar, you know the solar and the lunar thing comes with the tick and the talk. You have lunatic and you have soul talk. Yeah, that's true. But you know yeah. what? This I look at the sun and the moon like this, like being projected from the North Pole as a receiver and a, um, a conducer or an anthode or a cathode. You know, like the sun radiates and that the moon would receive your light. This is why we have phases of the moon. So I believe all our actions are ions. I believe it's electromagnetic, and it that's what gives the moon its shine as well also. Hence why you have the shades and the shapes of the moon. You have a full moon. So to me, the fact that we're having a, a new moon on the eclipse where minds are viewing this, you, you see what I'm saying? More actions are towards this. It's like a give and take of energy to me you know what i'm saying like that's how i view the x the eclipse you know hey hey, hey yo you know one of the biggest things that you know I, I'm, I'm just surprised that nobody brung this up because everybody in here is uh is very familiar with this um with this show like nobody brung up heroes mm -hmm. and like uh, and guess how many of them it was seven of them too right no, nah, no, nah, it, it, it was it was damn near anybody. I I don't know like the no 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 no. I'm talking about the main seven. The, the oh, okay, script, yeah, yeah, that was main show. seven. Yeah. We're but, all but they, were, but but there were but, like a there were a bunch there was a bunch of them. But like I'm talking about the people who gained the abilities after the eclipse. That's what I'm speaking on. I like, know not it was just the main. Not, it was the main set. It was it was hero. It, you know, it's following the meta nature and all this shit as well. You know, right? So right. nah. So I'm not disagreeing with you, Salas. But and you know the cover. Go ahead, bro. My bad. Let me make an announcement. Let me give a big shout out to my little sis, Serata Amaru. Thank you for the super chat, my sister. Appreciate that. She said from day one till infinity. It's all love. Uh, salutes to you, bro, Sanchez. Appreciate that. And shout out to Rom Ham. He gifted 10 flat power TV memberships. Hold up, oh, man. Oh, my God. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Yo, shout out to my brother Rom Ham. And I see you, bro. Uh, he rocking the flat power gear. So I already know he's a he's already I already know what it is, bro. I appreciate your support, man. That is love right there for real. Hey Reggie P, salutes to you, Reggie P. I don't think I read your your super chat. S salutes to you, my brother. Appreciate the love, man. Yeah, hey, man. man. I just want to see hey, if yeah. I had noise in my background, man. While my mic wasn't on mute, I apologize about that. I just I, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's oh, no, love. Yeah. Hey, yo, but like, I, I kind of <laughs> want, cause I, I, I like, I know Sanchez don't like talking about like stuff like this, but like, I have to bring up heroes and the fact that you know the heroes things. There were there was two eclipses on heroes, just like the two eclipses that we were talking about. What you with, mean, uh, hero? There was a, there was a show back in two thousand and five with um I forgot that girl's name um ha, ha, uh her. her uh, dang, I just remember an H and a P at the moment. Yeah. You, but, you, uh, you can pull that up in Google, bro. It's the same eclipse. It's going to be showing you the eclipse, like Heroes, the TV show. That shit was oh, big. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, pull that up for us, Sanchez. Yeah. So you, so we can Mind you, when he stole niggas' uh, abilities, he pulled that shit out the back of their head. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Just like Elon Musk, you know, what? with the new oh, aura. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Oh, wasn't it Silas too? Wasn't Silas? Yeah, the nigga uh, name was Silas. Was, I, I yeah. want y'all to. I want y'all to know. So Silas, like, when I, I was I, telling I'm an you inevitable, that, I, hey, I'm an inevitable character in mostly all universes. I'm literally in every universe. So just throwing that out there. Yeah, your name yeah, is biblical yeah. Silas. Just to let you know. Let me yeah, say, uh, let, let me let me <laughs> let, let me let me say to my brother Rom Ham, salutes to you. My motherfucking captain. Hey, yeah, that, I read hey, you. He said, done it every time. Best way to show support, for sure. Hey, yo, and I've said this before on here. Yeah, Sanchez, salute, is, Sanchez, salute, is also, Sanchez is also inevitable in many universes because you got to remember uh, Rick and Morty, how Rick's name is uh, Rick Sanchez. So uh, <laughs> I said this before. Sanchez is the Rick Sanchez of this universe. <laughs> So we be all oh, we be all up and through different universes talking about different realms and all that stuff. It's the equivalency of Rick Sanchez and Rick and Morty. Just saying. I'll just throw that out there. What up, OJ? I see you. Man, but shout yeah, out to everybody. Up, yeah, Peabody, go what's ahead, good, boy? Nah, what you want to bring up? Uh, bring up uh the heroes the show uh so to show the equivalency of the eclipse on heroes yeah the I, show. I got it queued up right here for you my bad let me share it with them though there we go uh ah oh, closed it when I open this no problem here we go I see the eclipse on the cover but see now can I break down this 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 thing to y'all real quick man mm -hmm. now check this out. Here go the Eclipse on the cover of Heroes. Now, I want y'all to do me a favor. Take the H off of that shit, because the H is silent. The word is auras, our auras. The, your oh. here, listen, your, your heroes are your auras, your other layers of yourself that they call the koshas. In those versions of yourself, you literally got superpowers in those versions that you don't got in this one. So them your auras or is your heroes, right? Another way of looking at your heroes is like this, your other layers. That's why if you take the word L, if, if you take the word layer, right, or layers, and take the L off, guess what you get? Airs or auras, or ethers, ethers, eras. You see what I'm saying? Airs or just like with heroes, you get arrows or auras. The hero, and that's why this eclipse is talking about the different alignments of our Orphic fields, what I was explaining on the previous one, you know, with our, our help is coming or our heroes is coming. And it ain't no sky daddy. It's an awakening within a self from your higher self, intervention from the higher self, influencing and merging with this self. So what's happening oh. is the universe is basically forcing everyone to step their game up whether they want to or not. You know what I'm saying? It's a shout out to Healing Foundations for that $50 super chat. Becky hit him with hit him with a bomb. Appreciate the love. Hey, I want y'all, I want y'all to catch this on the heroes uh, thing. It's showing two eclipses at the same time. And that's the representation of the two eclipses that they show on the show. And it's the representation of the two eclipses uh, being in 2017 and being, you know, April 8th. 2024. So, Silas, you remember when I was telling you about the seven main characters? This is what I was telling you about, the chakra. And it's not two separate eclipses. It's the merging. It's like a mirror version of it. You know what I'm saying? It's her essence, just like what bro was saying, you know? So... That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. Them say seven main characters. Even if bro go right back to the Google search, you see them, the seven, and you can look at all their abilities, you know? Yeah. But that's a whole nother story. But this was a good ass show back in the day, though, bro. Back in the day. Hey, bro. I used shout to, out, bro. shout out to uh, you know, rest in peace to Brother Panic, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Um I, I was really into this show, man. And what I loved about it is how they showed how the actual abilities came to pass by the utilization of the actual uh, eclipse on like how people's like bio uh, uh, biochemical frames morphed into their actual uh, uh, ability. So it's what Brother Sanchez was saying, like 
their quote unquote more kind of morphing into their higher self, and some people morphed into their lower self. You but no, so, you are though, like you're the hero. Don't forget that point. You oh, know, sure. this is sure. you merging with your shells. You know, shelf is just flesh, top tier flesh, it's the mm -hmm. ethers, the ethers. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know, so just remember that though. So this is you, just like you keep you were saying the double eclipse. I don't want you to look at it like you do what you do, my nigga. But I swear, if you can just, it's a mirroring, a mirror ver. You get it? It's Maru, you, so Maru, was, uh -huh. mirror, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah. So the man like in the if you mirror. Put a mirror in front of a mirror. The man and in the you mirror. See infinite mirrors. That's I'm the talking about the man, the man in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, Michael Jackson made that song on purpose. Yeah, he knew that was way deeper than a physical mirror, man. Yeah, he was talking about like within the self. You know what I'm saying? Because when you talk about the man in the mirror, we ain't even talking about like you standing in the mirror. The whole concept is looking within. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what that's what they mean when they like if you argue with somebody, you know what I'm saying, they need to get their shit together. And you'd be like, you know what, you need to start with the man in the mirror. They yeah. ain't saying go look in the mirror. They saying look at yourself. Right. Uh, yeah, yourself. you know, yeah, most people it. really most people really can't look in the mirror though, y'all. Like most people really can't face self. They can't. you know, so that's even the word within, everyone wants to look within. The word within is high twin. It's the double wave of energy waving at your ass, waiting for you to log in, which is logic, you know? That's but, that's crazy. And you know, you know what, bro. man? You know what's crazy, man? It's like back in the day when I was coming up and an eclipse happened, you just took your ass outside and watched it. Now today you got to have special glasses and different sunglasses. And it's bullshit. Y'all want to talk about different theories on why they wear the gla want us to do that because I gave mine that they don't want our light to go into the portal. You want to pick, anybody want to pick it back on the whole God? Because when we was coming up, you just look at the shit. Thanks, bro. Well, I think one of the things that, that come with those glasses is, you know, um, it, it, I think it has to do with that 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 uh what is it called the slit experiment thing. So you're able to observe without observing, if that makes sense. You're able to see the eclipse, but not you know actually give your light to the eclipse because it's being blocked off by quote unquote phases of light that they utilize in the glasses because like i remember back in 2017 they had those 3d glasses there's like one side was red and one side was blue type shit you know what i'm saying yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. but the, it's crazy because back in the day you know me like growing up in jamaica when we had a solar eclipse like this my nigga this shit was big and plus we're in the tropics you know we're in the area of the sun you know so it's like this shit was big, bro. Ain't nobody had no glasses or nothing. It's like they're profiting off of it and blocking your your insights to, to, or to, whatever you're supposed to get. So that's to, why I brought up Ray Ban. They profiting it, off it's, to keep you from reaching, reaching your higher self. It's two birds with one stone. I, I can see that. But the thing is, like, I've saw some of them glasses before. And it's kind of like the 3D type glasses you use in the um, movies and shit. But, like, they got special glasses for the eclipse. However, they do say you can use your regular sunglasses and shit. But I would like somebody to take those glasses and kind of take them apart and see what the fuck filming they use. Like, I don't understand. It's just weird, bro, because, yeah, it's, it's stupid. And it, it just looks real crazy today to see this, man, like. And but to see is. everybody to like actually abide by, because I remember when I went out into the fields with all the uh, eclipse watchers, and everybody had those uh, glasses on, bro. And I chose not to wear the glasses. They were looking at you crazy. Yeah, they were like, bro, like low key, like one lady 
Like I call we can call her a Karen or whatever. Bro, she told me that we had to leave. I was like, yo, bro, you telling me I have to leave because I don't want to wear goggles to look we're at not, the we're, thing that I look listen, at every day? Hey, I, I, I can hear it now. We're not responsible if you have eye injuries or some shit like that. I'm telling the world getting real pussified. That's just like Boy. uh man, it's like, dude. I'm going to be the nigga this year, too, with no glasses on. There's always two, three folks with no glasses on. You know them, the woke folks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm going to be real with you, bro. Like, just to see everybody have on glasses looking up, bro, it's like being in a... A uh, Resident Evil film or like a zombie <laughs> film or that shit is yeah. crazy. Hey, you bro. know what's crazy though, Salas? It's been a whole bunch of like sunglasses and shit, just glasses this whole year. You had the Apple Eye Vision, you know, you had Dion with his prime glasses. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I've just seen a lot of eye care, eye vision shit. We got the clips coming up. We got these uh, people on the screen right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, you I, know, I'm kind of you know, glad that stuff hurt my ass. Because, you know, growing up, you know, I used to think sunglasses was cool because I used to watch the tournament. And it's like, I also feel like they kind of market that to kids in a way and a little bit because, you know, the, the sunglasses, they block all the UAV rays from your eyes. And I could only imagine how many times, you know, special grades of light could have possibly, possibly been coming from you know different areas you know around the world but if you got them glasses on it's gonna keep you from being able to you know absorb that light yo it you know remind, it remind, it, that shit remind me of all the agents in the matrix with them big black with glasses, them glasses. Yeah. Them yeah. Yeah. that's what, yeah. like. right that's what it was hey, like bro. bro and they were ray-bans but this is what i think y'all because the light it's not natural light the light we experience here from our atmosphere density point is uv lights and it affects your pineal gland so it's like a big marketing scheme, you know, like cover up your eyes while they're cha-ching, cha-chinging. But I feel like it affects your third eye more so than your frontal, yeah. your, you know, your two duality I think, eye. I think if we look at the eclipse with the naked eye, the, the, from, is something coming from that portal that literally fucks with our neural activity and the plasma part of us on Earth? And that the glasses becomes this barrier obstruction in between it. But that's just my theory. But I, yo, yeah. I got yo, 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 Sanchez, you know, this is where I'm at with it, bro. So when it comes to pulling in that quote unquote light from an eclipse, right? Let's let's categorize that light as quote unquote gamma ray energy, right? And if you were to sit there during an eclipse and absorb all of that gamma ray energy, it would necessarily make your body radiated, quote unquote, right? Now, damn, I can't I can't talk about that on here. Okay. Um, now it, it, what would happen if you radiate your body and you don't take care of your body? Illness, Ooh. right? Illness, right? Okay, yeah, you're talking about like radiation. Well, well, it, well radiation. according to what they tell you, cancer will start to form. So there, there's a polarity to that, though. There, there's a me, me being a cancer and them having a an illness named cancer. I understand that there is a polarity to cancer. There's an alkalinity and there is a, a, a and an acidity. The acidity is the death. Uh, concept of cancer and then when you actually alkaline your body cancer can't survive in the body because you're alkaline that's so like facts. there's a polarity to that that's you know facts. What I'm yeah but Se what sebi saying said cancer is the foundation for all disease by the way but yeah go ahead it's no right. mu mucus that that's cancer mucus said whatever and, and mucus but, is even deeper because i want to know if y'all want to go this deep with it now, if we if we go into the concept of Christos and the whole mucus blood brain barrier uh, uh, concept and the whole light within the actual body and the different meditations that people do and sun gazing and things of that nature, sun gazing and I did, I've done this sun gazing during eclipse raises an energy in your body most definitely without a shadow of a doubt I've done it 
You feel me? So what I'm saying is, is what if the whole the whole thing with the glasses is just to block people from absorbing the gamma radiation that's being admitted onto the earth? And we if if anybody in here has ever been around an Israelite, they call gamma radiation the Ruach HaKadosh. And that's like the almighty energy of God and all that, uh, uh, you know, mumbo jumbo, whatever you want to call it. So, like, what if the goggles are just to block off people from absorbing gamma radiation because- that... T- taps because into their DNA, blah blah blah. Go ahead. It's, it seems now sacrilegious where we go on with it now, Solace, because we own to something, bro. Appreciate this because it's like none of the ancients who studied the stars ever spoke of having any protective wear on and no shit like that during that shit. And um, it's so crazy. Nature obviously didn't intend for us to wear nothing on our eyes or. It, you know, I, I, self, this is man-made shit. And my thing <laughs> is like, uh, is I now really feel like we're on to something and that they really trying to block something. I think that this junk DNA is activated with certain light, uh, UV yes. light or certain oh like God. that. This nigga broke up the, the junk DNA, bro. Let me tell you something about junk DNA, bro. I remember back in when I was in second grade and my mama had me go outside for an eclipse at like nighttime. And I remember going back to school the next day and I shocked somebody with the, uh, you know, just just like I was shocking them. And it was a constant thing that it was happening. So I got sent to the office because I was shocking people. And then they took me. They, they, they said, well, he needs to go to the uh, to the to the doctor and the doctor took my blood and all this other different stuff and they said oh something about junk dna blah 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 so i think you exactly right this eclipse said, stuff does have something nah, to do nah, with nah, junk dna now watch this though here's what they say they say that there's a lot of uh dna in a human that is like infinite and like it's so much data inside of this dna but it's useless data and that's why this part of our DNA laid dormant. Now, what they calling useless data, you got to think about it. When they was talking like that, they had the concept of survival of the fittest to where that was a point on Earth where they literally talk instinct above intuition. That's where we at now. So they saying like that junk DNA is only... Uh, important if you trying to be all spiritual and shit they call it mm-hmm. junk dna because they saying look we live in a different world people trying to get money people trying to eat man and that really to make it ahead in this world you need to be trying to activate your instinct really like and that's true i ain't gonna lie if you really want to be all you can be just on a world stage then this, this spiritual shit is hindering you you need to go all out in your world and shit and go with the, like, 50 cent energy, nigga, the Tupac energy or the fucking, you know, the, the rich nigga get rich or die trying energy. That, but you got to dedicate yourself yeah. 100% to this world, man, if that's what you're trying to do. But my thing is this, though. That don't require you to need what they call in the junk DNA to be the best person in the world, to have all the good money, the American dream. You don't need the junk DNA to do that. That's to me why I think they call it junk DNA because they're assuming everybody's idea of heaven is balling out on the earth. So to people who say, well, wait a minute, that ain't junk to me because I'm just not all secular like that. I do want to have a spirituality. Well, then to you, it wouldn't be junk DNA. It's like they're speaking from the perspective of the majority. That's why we call it junk when we know God don't make no trash. So, hey, hey yeah, Brother yeah, Sanchez, yeah. What, if, what if the junk DNA is only activated by light or only activated by, you know, the polarity of light, you know what I'm saying, with black light or whatever, UV light or whatever you want to call it? Like, what, what if that's the case? In, in, in what we're talking about, and this eclipse is one of those situations where gamma ray energy of uh, of gamma ray light energy, more or less, right, is to em, em, embody the 
the the surface or whatever you you know the concept the plasma coming from the sky the sky falling that type of stuff you, i don't know if you've ever heard about like when the vikings used to experience eclipses they would literally act as act as if they were fighting something so until the actual eclipse was over and then when the eclipse was over they would stop fighting it was like they were fighting like 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 i don't know what you want to call it like shadow shadow clones or whatever the case may be but they would like they would yelp and scream and all these other different uh, you know indications of war until the eclipse was over and then when the eclipse was over they felt as if they won because they brung the light back have you ever heard of that well, well like you this? know when you go into these those i really believe that like stuff like that give me the indian rain dance vibes Mm -hmm. To where it's an activity like people in China, I think they beat on fucking pots or something during an eclipse or they beat on ballers mm -hmm. or pots or something to scare the fucking shadow away. That's that's mm -hmm. eclipsing the thing. Y'all, they see okay. that. But it's sort of like these traditions that's based upon misinformation and fear mongering. I don't mm -hmm. know if I'm right in your case, but that's kind of where I'm thinking your your situation what you explaining uh goes to let me say big shout out to my sister Serata Amaru yo let we got to clap it up flat motherfucking power for joining the channel for show sure. you know when you were saying yeah, jump yeah. DNA you know if we know that DNA is information and it's, it's junk to the perspective, you know what I'm saying? Especially in this world, you using your insights, your information. It's, you know, they would want you to call it junk DNA, you know, but uh, I don't think it's junk DNA, you know, I, just like what yeah. bro was saying, it's to the perspective. You know yeah, what's it's crazy? Term, it's a term, like yeah. he said, used for like the fact that like when he, when he use when you use the term useless, like they're saying you it's useless to them because in a sense, to them, maybe they didn't know. Like, it's there, but it's there for no reason. But it's I'm sure, I'm sure that they could have uh, already known that that's DNA that could be useful to the being yes. if activated. Mm -hmm. But and to as them, soon as heard, not activated is useless. As soon as I heard the word "useless," that's what I thought. Information, man. It's like we use it less. You use right. the information yeah. inside you less. Right. You know. That's that's that's, right that's, away. that's dope, yeah. Uh -huh. And that's because we're really more, want us to know. and that's because we're more carnal beings today than our ancestors was. Like we're really plugged into the physical aspect of reality more than the ancestors. So it would be junk to our, uh, you know, uh, general age or whatever. Well, I think they should oh, use like they should use a different term because like. Like it's only junk is if it is useless, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. But basically, it's like if it's something there that could be of use to you if activated, then why would you even call it junk? Yeah. Why would you even say that it's useless? I would rather them tell the people of this world that you actually have something in you that, if activated, you know, the the sky's hey. the limit, so to speak. I, you know? I want to ask y'all some real quick. How do y'all think? And somebody, before I ask this, shout out to Hydro. He said DNA is dinner, and I and I've always thought about that, right? DNA being dinner, and then if you think about that, when we talk about um, unraveling the DNA, that's really fucking like breaking it apart. But but I'll go into that later with with that etymology. What I want to ask y'all is like um. The whole thing about every time a great eclipse happened, well, not just a great eclipse, a North American, what they call like a great North American eclipse, is that a specific sign? We know that these eclipses is like everybody in the world need to be trying to decipher what that means for humanity, but in particular, America, because it's over America, like it's the great North American eclipse and there have been other eclipses over other countries but it's like it's our turn now what does that mean for america because we we see war breaking out and it can be the first time war happened in america like on some we might come a third mm -hmm. world country we don't know like you yeah go ahead brother go ahead 
No, I just wanted to tie that in because I'm glad you brought up back the eclipse. And when you see the, the picture it makes, you know, the X, bro, it reminds me of the Olmec symbol, you know, which they desecrated to the um, the Confederate flag, but they still kept it the red, blue, and white, you know? But if you see the the two the the two lines that it makes over North America, it's creating the X, you know. And I think you can pull that up too, though, because it just reminds me of the Olmec symbol that they have on their foreheads, that they have on their waist, and these are all like merging points, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh huh, exactly, bro. So for yeah, North yeah, America, yeah. since you specify, and I'm glad you did, yeah, you know, it's like. But go ahead, though, my nigga. No, I'm just gonna bring. Hey, the main picture that they took of Diddy's um, mansion was a picture of a bush that looked like the X Man symbol at uh, Professor Xavier Jump, which was an X, which is exactly how the jump is crossed. So I just wanted, like, the symbolism they putting out there, the distraction, and you know what I'm saying. So it's all symbolism. Like the main picture that they put out there was a picture of a giant bush or you know bushel construction. But it was in uh in, in the middle of the circle it was an X. So yeah, y'all got it. Yo. Hell yeah, bro. And our head chopped off. Nah. And our head is off, bro. The headless horseman. Well, you know, that shit crazy. All our five points are gone. They say you muted. They say you muted on the YouTube, my nigga. Oh, man, this whole time. My bad. My bad, y'all. I was saying how I can do a whole stream on Puff Daddy House because that statue is in the middle of the four continents like the North Pole map. That ugly little silver statue I showed. It got four continents around it, green grass, like the Vatican courtyard, with that statue in the middle being the Great Mother. And I was just saying that style comes from Anchor Watt with the layering system. But I moved on from that. What I was saying now was, um, you know, these eclipses are all North American eclipses. And that means something specifically for North America. And I was saying that, you know, the whole world back in the money with the American dollar. And we've been saying if the American dollar crash, every, the whole world economy going to crash. And that's going to lead us finally into the new world order digital system, digital banking system. Now, look, I'm saying that the last North American eclipse brought COVID. This North American eclipse, right? With each one of them, we get some real world-changing martial law type of the, an event. And I've been peeping the pattern, and I'm the only one peeping it. So I'm saying, is this eclipse another sign for North America to get ready? And I see Trump finna come back in. He might be in... It's like history repeating itself. He was in office during the last great North American eclipse, wasn't he? 
Am I remembering this right? No, no, no. Nah, you right, bro. You right. That's when the trumpets. You know, I wouldn't be surprised, trumpets, bro. I wouldn't be surprised again. Hey, and I'm gonna end my playing here. I wouldn't be surprised if Trump win the election because all the stars is lining up like the last time for him. Hey, I want to. And, and the thing is, it's like it's set up for him to win, man. It's like it's set up for him to win. Um, because of what's going on with the whole Democrats and the and uh, the Biden administration, right? They got his son on trial and everything. So like, we, it's so many people that's turning against uh the Democratic Party. Like, it's so it's so many. I watch all types of videos of um them showing how many black people are becoming not just not just turning against Democrats, but becoming Trump supporters. You know what I'm saying? And, bro, and the reason and why you, and, 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 and this is, bro, not to cut you off, Trump, the only president that led American citizens to attack the, a capital for the first, like he got a cult like oh following. Go ahead, you cooking, bro? Yeah. Right, right. Because I've been I've been following the whole thing, but it's like so. It's like if you're an outside looking in, right, and you you look at all the statistics that Trump brought, you know, even if you were somebody who hated Trump because the media told you to hate him and you decide to look at it, you would be like, God damn, the nigga is the best president we had in the last 50 years, had black people working, had, you know, low uh, um, unemployment and all that. You would think that, you know, damn, he did a good job regardless of what you might think of him. But the reason why I say it's a game, because when you look on the Democratic side, right, and they finding um, they finding Joe Biden with all this corruption that's been going on for the eight years that, um, he was the vice president, but nobody's seeming to say anything about the idea of Barack Obama knowing anything about it as everything that he'd been saying or even going after Barack Obama. You know what I'm saying? It's all about Biden. Uh, uh, Obama's out of it, which makes me think that, damn, it's like, how could how could they be so much? How could they be so eager to give out the information about the Biden, the Biden family and all that and not have anything to say about uh, Barack Obama knowing anything about what was going on. So it's like uh, when I look, when you talk about a sign, that's exactly what it is. It's a sign. The first one was a sign. People were saying that. And it's, 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 it just so happened that it's making that X over North America a sign at the time. And that place being, according to biblical prophecy, what they're saying, everybody looking at it like it's, um, it's God's wrath or God's doing. Nah, it's it's a it's a supernatural event or cosmic event that just so happened to happen in Babylon. Hey man, let me let me say this because now we about to go. Yeah, they said the brother knows his information. Yeah, this brother Beasy been going in. I ain't gonna lie. Salutes to the whole panel, man. Because Appreciate um, it, man. Appreciate it. yeah, man, the whole thing about this, I, I just think that. We have been given divine warnings before destruction, but we forgot how to, uh, you know, interpret the stars and shit. And that we got a false form of astrology. And like, uh, because we own us something. We're saying that as above, so below. A lot of the shit that's happening on the world stage is carrying out in the stars. And we can sort of like the heavens, like to me, the prophets were the stars. All them prophets in the Bible is probably personifying some sh a, a star or something. And they hey, said where the, where the fucking prophets knew the future. And you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. My bad. Not to cut you off, but no, like, you I just want to build. I want to build on that because like I deal with a lot of Christians, man. You know what I'm saying? I try to wake people up, try to get them out of that, that spell of the Bible, you know? And, and when I, whenever you go up to a Christian and you talk about astrology, you talk about the stars and this and that, like that's taboo to them. They look down on that, e even though they worship a man named Jesus. And when they sitting up there, when the people are sitting up there with Jesus and asking him about all these things you're talking about, that's going to happen. He said, no man, no, this is what Jesus is saying. No man knows the day or the hour. He said the signs are in the sun, the stars and the moon. He is saying that the, when, when the time yeah. will come, you're going to see the signs in the heavens. You yeah. got Christians who believe in Jesus won't touch astrology, but Jesus was talking about the cosmos. Ooh, guess what's so deep about what you just said? Because Jesus said no man know the time, the hour, and all that shit, but then he turned right around and said, but look at the stars. Guess, mm -hmm. what, that, guess what that let me know? 
that the Gregorian time that we own is bullshit mm-hmm. and what's really happening with you want to cause bro this is so deep because Jesus that's what, listen, that's G, what listen. I hey bro hey bro that's what I take from the Bible every time I try every time I, I tell people things from the Bible and they be like, oh, that's that Bible shit. It's man made. I'm not looking at it like a Christian or right, religious person. Man, looking you the same, bro. I study bro. the, hey, 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 the hey, Bible. BZ. I study the bro, Bible. Me and you do the same shit. And guess what? Let me tell you, and I'm going to yield the flow right here, right? Jesus didn't say you couldn't know when it's going to happen. He said you just ain't going to know the time and the hours. This is right. some clock shit. Because right. he turned right around and said, but the signs is up here, though. <laughs> you know, right. like, you can know it, but not if you're looking for, like, hours, time, chronos. You're looking it's so down. crazy, you're though, because the, the sine wave is what gives you time. You know, this how you can get all of this alignment, you know, together. Like, real tall, my nigga. And I, I got a, oh, I got a link in the back, bro, that I want you to hey, see. Hey, so because I look, I, I want to, I want to know some real quick. Why would Jesus say, "No man know the time and the hour," but still tell us to look for some signs in the sky, like we can know some if we can't know it? Like, because he know you would be in a time where people would hide that from you. You know what I'm saying? And this is how they hiding it. They making astrology taboo. So you have Christians, right, who is crazy. Like I said, isn't it crazy that they believe in a man that dealt with astrology, but they so scared of it? Bro, that is crazy. That's crazy right there. But they doing that through the banking system. And but look, through and, and you know, money through the and, church. And the Bible calls astrologers diviners, and you can get put to death for divination. Sorcerers. But, 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 but think yeah. about that. Why would, why, listen, why would they use the word divine for astrology when divine is a good word? Like, that's some right. good shit. Uh, right. exactly. Hey, bro, I put a link in the chat in the back, man. I, I just got want you. you to pull that up. This shit quick. right here, bro, is, mm-hmm. is, is a deep bill. Yeah, nigga. divine. Like the number nine. That's a divine yeah. number. Mm-hmm. Like, the brother, yeah. like the brother said when he mentioned 144,000 or whatever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And whatever he said that uh, brought it to nine, that's what it is. Even even when you say nine, even when you say nine, you know how the N is. It's just also saying sign. The whole sine wave is zero and one as well, too. You know what I'm saying? So So even even when you say the cosma, you know the the cosine is it's all as above, so below. Sine and cosine. That's how you get the cosmology. You know what I'm saying? So even yo. with the sign now, the sign would be what? Go ahead, bro. Go no, ahead. no, yo, no, I'm, oh, I, yeah, I, I'm just saying, that. nigga, do your thing. You, you go ahead, <laughs> nigga. nigga. Yeah. For real. Yeah. yeah, my nigga, you know, bro. This it nigga, is, nigga here, go ahead. So the sign is the why, you know, this is the question, why you're here. The why, the, I can keep going with the W's, right? It's all a sign wave. And then the X, it's all dimension, the X, Y, Z. You know, if you can pull that up, that's our left and all that. You don't have to pull that up, but I just that to nigga show you a said, picture. boy, you just you don't know what you just said. That nigga said the you said cosmology, but you broke that shit down yes, with like nigga. the the, the yes, logic of nigga. the cosmos, like how um but it's deep, like it's deep, it may sound simple. You said pull up what I'm gonna go into that in a minute. <laughs> Nah, you don't got to pull that up. That's what I wanted you to see right here, my nigga. You know, like, so in fact, let's just pull that up because we talking about the eclipse and the zero and the X. So when all of this started, the, you know, bef- the birth of computers, BC, this yeah. is when Aries was arising. This is L, this is their God. This is why you have sunrise at the sixth point. You see what I'm saying? So you have the cholesterols, the con- the constellation rotating one way, and you have the sun and move rotating the other. That's the zero and the X. So it just so happened, this is what they've kept us in. This whole symbol right here on the screen. They literally you. held us back right here into Aries, into God, into L. When we've went through the age of Pisces, this is where we're leaving right now. We're on the cusp, the crust, the crease, the Christ of it now through the e-crease or the eclipse. You see what I'm saying? Which is literally moving into a new era. 
If you can't see it, if you don't feel it in the physical, nigga, look in the sign, the sky. You know what I'm saying? It's all the same shit. So when yeah. I was saying, but but go ahead, bro. I'll let you build on this a little bit. No, yeah, yeah, because a hey, hey, let me first of all say shout out to the sister Tara Love. Thank you so much for the super chat. She said, great show, Sanchez. As always, much love. Black power, my sister. Yo, I'm going to say this, right? Um, <clears throat> this is what I want to talk to you about, Awakening Minds. Because you're watching Three Body Problem, ain't, ain't, ain't you watching that? Have you already watched it? Yes, my nigga. Look at Maru. Go ahead and build on it. All right, nigga. so in Three Body Problem, they had a supercomputer, but it was made out of humans, right? And they had this army of humans that we see here. It was... 30 million troops. It was crazy. And and it was binary, my nigga. It was binary because the little the, the little sign that they holding, it can mm -hmm. be a black a black side and a white side. And now yes, awakening sir. minds, if you understand the intricacies of how this human computer work, maybe you can explain it to them better than me and I'll sure, come nigga. back. Yeah, go ahead. Sure, so the way they're standing, because they show a top view of it at first, and I ain't trying to ruin the movie for anyone, and the 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 show. And when I say y'all watch it, it's more on the sacred geometry sh shit you're going to get from the third eye. It ain't even about the show. Like the picture bro have up right here. Every time they put that goggles on, bro, or Google, you know, the goggles on mm. to search, they always end up by a maru. So this is the one with Genghis Khan, you know, and he got like, you notice it's always two people giving their theory of the path of the sun or, you know, when the moon and the sun is going to eclipse. Whoever, it's always, man, you, you, you'll know what I'm saying. They had mm -hmm. Isaac Newton, they had all these other motherfuckers, you know, but Copernicus, right yeah. mm -hmm. Copernicus, uh-huh. So, um, Right here, though, this is all binary. This is the check of floor, you know? This is just the shadow oh. of a toroidal field. Uh -huh. Yeah, my nigga. So this is algorithm. This is L. So the patterns and shit they're standing in, they're like flicking up on and off. And if they see it from the Maru point of view, they can be God. It's like governing. It's like a That's big That's what the fuck, machine. bro. It's so yes, crazy because niggas. check it out. When I saw this, I was like, damn. Computers been around for ages, nigga. You can make a computer out of humans. Because I was like, how is this computer gonna give him information? And a military, this reminded me of Nazi Germany, nigga. I be really believe that Hitler had a supercomputer made out of them troops just like this, nigga. But I'm gonna go to that later. The whole thing is the people in the top of the tower is able to ask the computer a question and what and it's like that question gets translated to some kind of commandment to the military below who now does like different ser uh, action based on that commandment each person acts differently though creating this whole basically a computer effect like when you ask your computer something it gives you an answer Mm -hmm. Man, this shit is so deep I can't explain it's it, on. but I get it though. Yeah, it's like a QRC code, bro. A quick response. What is it? QRC, quiz response. I forgot what the, the C is. But, you know, a computer a QRC code that we're all starting to use now, which it brings you straight to the web. A lot of the shit is just technology, but it's so fucking simple. It's literally zero and one following Earth's formula. It's like Earth got a set formula, you know, that green wave in between the red and blue. You know, it's it's just so crazy, you know. So that's the king knowledge, you know. I wanna I wanna ask some I just saw something that messed with me. Somebody said you got YouTube ads playing during the video. Um, yeah, these channels are monetized, so they have the AdSense going with the Super Chats and all of that. And I appreciate the Super Chats once again. Um, however, uh, what kind of ads are they? It should be the little bit of overlay ads that you just click off. But if you're telling me that they're stopping the stream to go into a commercial, drop a one because I'm going to have to uh, get that off of there. 
the commercial shouldn't be on here until we get off and then the replay. The replay should have the commercials, but the actual live stream should just have like overlay ads, if anything. So I need to figure that out. Let me know if that's what's going on, guys, in the chat room. I'm sorry. Go ahead, guys. Still trying to figure that one out because saw that on Golden Wings too. Somebody was like, bro, are we live? I just got a commercial stop. And I'm like, whoa, I need to go and uh, I might be set my shit up wrong because I am putting like for these to be monetized. But I think I may need to uh, get with YouTube and see how to monetize my live streams to where the commercials just play in a replay. And I think, and I think that, uh, I'm going to figure that out. Fuck that. Let's keep the show going. Yeah, because I'm going to figure that out, man. I hate that, that that's happening because when I'm live, I want it to just play out. And, but I do want the commercials on the replay. But I'm going to have to figure, figure that shit out, man. That's fucked up because I'm getting all these warns. And that was yeah, my. Yeah, that's weird they would do that though. Yeah, why would they like? Why wouldn't y'all put the little other little ads? You know, the ones that you just click off when you keep going. Like, if we live, that's stupid. Now, now here's what it is. They do put the little ones where you just press the skip button, but it's after you know like five seconds. Now, when when I noticed that too on the monetized channels, yours, uh, but when you click back on, when you click skip and get back to the video the views then went down by like 50 views every time that happens because people are having to do that and then not knowing how to get back in there. So it cuts And I be seeing the views so fluctuate. Yo, I be seeing my views fluctuate weird like that. And that's because of the fucking ads, yeah. man. Yeah, you just got to figure out the settings on how to put them in because I don't even know how you would go live with ads without it cutting into the live, like, you know, like a Mr. Beast or how to, you know, like, what they be doing, like you see, like because the then, because like, yeah. then that means people gonna be watching a replay. Because when they come back from the commercial, if it pick back where we left off at, now they behind. It ain't even really live now. You know what uh -huh. they do? Just like the Super Bowl, they, live, they start. They start yeah. like an hour or two hours filming. They start filming and showing us the Super Bowl like thirty minutes later, just in case something happens. They can edit it out. I think that's how the you know the the Fox News and the CNNs do it. When they put live, it's like live but 30 minutes late. So they have time for those little two minute or one minute ads to be skipped and it still seems like, but I don't know. But yeah, that's good. Yeah, like you said. Hey, yeah. let me give it, let me, let me. Any ads, bro. And I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking at the chat room and people, some people saying they got them, some people saying they ain't. I'm going to get on the thing with YouTube because. I got that gray check, so they got to talk to your boy on the damn chat thing. I need to see what's up and figure that out. Let me say big shout out to my sisters, Jewel 512, and to my sister, Carly motherfucking Cupcakes. Y'all already know. Let's drop a bomb. Shout out to, to everybody now. Hey, Willie North Pole, why you ain't blue, man? Let me rent you up, bro. Salutes to you, man. Hey, yeah. um, happy birthday to Carly, too, bro. I think it's Oh, birthday, shit, man. man. Let birthday, me, oh, Carly. yo, let, let's clap it up, man. Happy birthday birthday to my sister, Carly. She's aging in reverse, goddammit. She growing young, man. She looking good over there, baby. <laughs> Real talk. Salute to my sister, Carly Cupcake. She's a day one, been around from the whole day one from this flat power shit, baby. And she Air Force like your boy. Can't forget that. I'm going to keep the mic open, man. Because yeah, I want to um, make a statement. Of, I want to make a flattered statement, man, if we, if we got time. I don't oh, jump oh, off oh hold, hold on. This is what I was going to say. Uh, and, and, and this is what I'm going to say. When I looked at this movie, and saw the big human supercomputer, I said, how big can you scale this up? Then I thought about it. What if our Earth is a big-ass supercomputer and we're the individual units or soldiers helping the computer compute? 
and the one that's the all-knowing is the one at the top of the mountain like up here in Maru, like you were saying, Awakening Minds, who's literally, he's all-knowing just like we're all-knowing because we got Google or a computer or something that can compute for us. And he's, he's all-knowing because he got technology and he's at the highest point of the earth where he can see the message that the supercomputer is relaying down on the ground, just like in this portion of Three Body Problem. You feel me? Shout out to Troy. Shout out to Troy, Flat Power. Thanks for the member, bro Sanchez. Hey, much love. You get what I'm saying? Awakening mind. Hell yeah, my nigga. And you know, that that's the newer link helmet, too. When you look at the building, it's the six-pointed star and everything, bro. I wish, like, they're not going, you're not going to be able to get a clip on Google or when the, 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 it first come in and you're looking down on it. You know, I'm like, yeah, damn, this movie is so terrible. Think, think about this, this, right? Think about this, right? Every single dude that's holding up a square, that's like your Taurus field. That's like every single human got this bubble around a body that's showing what their energy is at, the, at any given moment. Now, a hey, shout out the beneficial flat motherfucking power. He said, y'all getting it in. Salutes to all Sanchezians. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that Sanchez. was crazy, man. Good nigga drop was, was so like, no. I used to be a Sanchezian. <laughs> shout out to that nigga drop. Yo, I might, hey, but I'm telling you, bro, this three body problem got me on some fascinated shit because I'm like, Nigga, the earth, a big supercomputer. And when the creator asks this thing a question, it gives us an answer. And that's how you get the whole genie grant my wishes, give him in the lamp. Because check this out, right? Watch this. Look at the Hebrew cosmos, right? Check this out. Check me out, right? Let's pull up the Hebrew seven heavens right, right quick. Look. The throne of God is above the earth. It's in that position to where it can look down at the entire earth and see what this quantum computer is computing, like the dude at the top here looking at the soldiers. And I'm saying, God damn, bro, I've been teaching earth as a big computer, but I didn't know I was one of the individual units on the damn motherboard helping it compute. To this le like mm -hmm. I, I knew that, but now I really know that looking at this movie, like I'm one of these soldiers holding up a sign and the creator is looking down at the creation. But if you if somebody say, why did the creator build this creation? The same reason Bill Gates built the computer. The same reason we built computers so that we can know more than what we already did. Because man know a lot now, but he wouldn't know it without computers. Helping him compute and get algorithms and formulas to gain access to knowledge. We would never, it'll take you so long without computers. Thanks, bro. And it's like you're a unit or a bit. You know, that's why I'll be bringing up the unit circle. Because it, it's all the same shit. That's how you get, it's, it's geometry. It's all mathematics, you know? The unit circle is like unit, K-N-I-T as well, you know, the universe. All this should be falling back into the same shit, bro. The same shit you've been teaching for years, you know? Yeah. Sad chance. So can I go to the Bible on that note right there? We need so you to go I into the, that? we got to go to the Bible. Let's get it. So what scripture is saying, that's why I was saying earlier, uh, when it's talking about God created the heavens and the earth, and you got to pause, right? Because when it says uh, he, he created, well, it says, let there be light. And God created a light to rule the day and a lesser light to rule the night. That's two separate creations is what I'm saying. So when you look at the movie, that scene in the movie, The Matrix, where Neo goes into this room where this dude in the white suit got all these TVs and he's talking about the matrix that was created, right? And like, why would you create this matrix when they had a perfect matrix? He said somebody seen, somebody seemed to think that the matrix was too perfect, so they created another matrix. So what I'm saying is that um, when you're dealing with the cosmos, right, and everything in nature, right, 
is the perfect matrix. When God created the heavens and the earth, he created the perfect matrix. Somebody came with technology and created an imperfect matrix. Yes. When the Bible, talks, yes. When the Bible, this when the Bible talks about when the Bible talks about the uh, Lucifer being cast down to the earth, we 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 assume or was taught that he's in hell. But the Bible never refers to Lucifer being cast down to hell. He's being cast down to earth. So I'm thinking, um, allegorically speaking, uh, whoever this is, whatever it could be, uh, fallen angels or whatever created the imperfect matrix. And I believe yep. that's the sun moon. And I think when they use the word wormwood in the, uh, in the Bible, when they talk about wormwood, I think wormwood is the moon because it's also the veil, right? So I think the, the sun and moon is, is, is the, is a veil create either Can, creating frequencies to have us all fucked up or creating let frequencies. Let me explain that something block. to you. Let me explain something to you. You right, but where you, I think, to, in my opinion, I think you right, but you're translating it in a way to make it wrong. But look at it this way. The sun and moon is a veil because the veil is the body. The word veil, if you rearrange the words, is the word live. And the body is what allowed the soul to live in assimilation. What gave you your body? What wrapped you in the body? The mama and daddy, which is the sun and moon. So real talk, y'all, this is what I want y'all to realize. If you want to blame somebody for putting you in the simulation, you got to blame your mama and daddy. But guess what you got to realize, though? Why would you be mad at them for putting you here? Because what they did, right, was your mama broke off a piece of her consciousness. Her imp and, and your daddy broke off a piece of his consciousness. And they put that shit together and that made your consciousness. Now you're a living light, a conceived soul, a sentient being. You see what I'm saying? So my thing about this is like, you know, you your own being, but the mom and daddy is like the gateway to six and a nine holding the two doors of the gate open for you to come in. To come inside of what? For the soul to enter the body, which is the veil. So look, I don't start to look at the devil as an enemy or anything I'm scared of, right? For example, right? I love light. But I love darkness, too. I'm about to go to sleep in a few hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm the type nigga, I like the yin and the yang because I love the whole symbol, which is why the ant... Think about what I'm about to say. If the ancestors was on some light, 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 holy, holy, holy shit, you will only have one piece of the yin-yang. You will see people with just the white side, and they'll be like, fuck that black side. But no, the yin-yang was embraced in totality with both sides together, meaning that the ancestors didn't reject the darker half like we do today. They embraced both sides and made one symbol with them. If they was just seeking the light, it would have just been the yang symbol. They could have broke that off. That ain't hard to do. They said, no, we got to have both of them. I want darkness, I want light. But today we think we just need the light. Well, it, like, um, I guess to give you a little bit of friendly fire on this one, um, I remember when um, you you had a um, you had a show up one day. This was a while back, actually. This is when uh, Citizen Man, I guess, if I'm not mistaken, introduced the um, what's that website you can go on? You can look at the pictures. Um, uh forensics photo photo yeah, forensics yeah, yeah. that was dope yeah. let's drop a bomb for that one man right. photo forensics that's my shit my wife hey this is a story but this is something i've been wanted to talk to you about just never like i really don't get a chance to catch a lot of lives so when that when when that show was playing right i was uh i came back from it was late or whatever so i couldn't really watch it but i'm sitting down on the table and i'm falling i'm sitting down on the chair and i'm falling asleep right and i'm like Man, I say it seemed like because y'all like a lot of people was getting hype about it and everything. And I was like, man, I was like, I'm gonna just fall asleep. So I ended up falling asleep. But what woke me up was everybody started. It was like everybody in the uh, on the panel 
kind of like, you know, erupted at the same time. And that's when you had put the picture of the moon in there. Right. And when I looked, when I looked up, I kind of smiled about it. And I was like, cause I, I do uh, deliveries in the morning. So I smiled about it. And I was like, man, I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'm gonna just catch that shit on my route, you know? And when I listened to it and I, I listened to the whole thing and little did I know that there was something being said about what I had said on a previous, um, on a previous show, I didn't even know that like, you was going to be talking about me. And you're going to remember what I said when uh, you're going to remember what that is. When I say it, you was like, Whoa, you was like somebody. I remember a while back, somebody was saying something about uh, the ancestors saying that at one time there was no moon or one time where the moon didn't give his light. And you was like, man, somebody said that. And I was getting mad. I shot that down and this and that. And I remember you saying, you showed me anybody showed me where the ancestors said anything about not having a moon and when you saw that picture that's what you said you was like you know whoa the moon is a portal that now i'm starting to think that that person that was saying that probably you know was on to something when they said the moon that the ancients were saying that the moon wasn't always there you know what i'm saying so it's like is it really a, a natural thing or something that was created with the universe or coincides with the universe when there's a possibility of the ancestors saying there was a time when there was no moon. Okay, so let me speak to that real quick. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I've always stood 10 toes down on the fact that the moon always been there. And I still uh -huh. and I still stand 10 toes down on that now. And uh, however... I'm a fair brother and I'm a, I'm a cool brother. What I would do when presented certain phenomena, I remember certain people that challenged me to show, look, I'm not an egotistical nigga. Maybe that person was on to something. But you me saying that a person is on to something, meaning is, is me basically saying, okay, if I was to talk to that person again, I would be more open-minded to what they got to say. It don't mean that, okay, now I believe there was a time where the moon didn't exist. It just means, okay, oh, maybe I need to be more open-minded to it, but I still think the moon always been there. It just means now it's easier for you to convince me because I got, when we put up the moon on photo forensics, it was like nothing was there. Photo forensics was telling us, basically, ain't nothing there. And I remember flat earthers doing an experiment on the sun, and they got the same thing. It's almost like what we see in the sky ain't really there. It's, and we know that. That's why we say it's just a holographic projection, which is why we can see the blue sky through the moon and the black sky through the moon at night. Meaning that the moon is a projection, and if it's a projection, it's a false image of the real thing, and we know that the real creator didn't make no fake shit. So to the people that saying the moon is fake, I'm going to go even further. I'm going to say the sun is fake too. I'm going to say them trees out there is fake too. Guess what? I'm going to go even further. Guess what? Your body is fake. I'm going to go even further. Guess what? Everything fake in this simulation. We in a simulation. We in a simulation. I feel you. So look, my thing is, when people say where well, the moon is fake and it was brought here, I'm saying if y'all going to do that, let's just go and call it how it is. Every fucking thing fake. Everything we see in the sky fake. Matter of fact, we in the Truman Show, your whole existence here wasn't even the base reality it was a matrix a simulation and that's what we're saying so now think about it i would be dumb if a person said hey sanchez the moon fake and it ain't real it was created by archons i would be dumb to argue against that because guess what i'm teaching people i'm in a simulation that's fake and everything here is created by some sort of artificial intelligence. So I'm going to be, you see how I'm a real one, ain't it, Beasy? Yeah. Salute yeah. to you, bro. I was, I was saying yeah. he was a real one, even like even on that show 
when uh when he brought up the uh for uh photo forensics because like you was you like you had thought back on it and he was like man I was shooting that down bro I was like yeah I, he, he was saying you was like man I was getting mad when they were saying that on and, first and, and, and you was that guy shout that out hey, let guy. me drop a bomb to BZ man Hold I was that, I was that, I was that he guy. was that guy you know, was saying, well, that's why I kind of like I still kind of hold on to that because um you know I was just saying uh, uh, based on the conversation. As to why it's like, you know, I kind of hold on to the idea of that being some type of technology that kind of has some effect on people different from the way the cosmos have effect on us that we probably don't get a chance to receive because there's a veil there. And look, uh, and I'm going to tell you some shit, though, because... The thing is this too, man, now that we own a shout out to my nine ether hair, another excellent show. Thank you, flat power to that. Yeah, we're gonna be rolling for a while. It's Friday, man. You know, this ain't a job to me. I love this shit. And we got a fire panel and good topics too. And I was saying, man, I'm gonna have to vote with this because normally people be wanting me to go live during the eclipse. But I was like, no, nah, man, we should all go ahead and just be make that a personal moment and go live after the eclipse with an after show. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, bro. Bro, I got a quick question. Hey, bro, I got a quick question for you. This awakening minds. Yeah. Now, my nigga. Now it's a it's a it's a rhetorical question, really. But are you familiar with what Israel is doing on the eighth? On the eclipse, it's called a red heifer sacrifice. Guess yeah. what, bro? I'm about to they mute about my. To... I'm about to mute my mic. You gonna have to, bro, go in on that. You, I no ain't know nothing about nigga. it. Yeah. Yeah, bro. They're, they're about to sacrifice a bull, you know, and this is a bull that's been picked from several. But guess where the bull is coming from? It's coming from Texas. You know what I'm saying? And it's imported into Israel. They already got the four chosen. And on the day of the eclipse, they're going to choose one from the four and sacrifice it on on the moss, which has been ran for which has been ran for um, Muslim forever. Oh. They've taken it over since Trump been in power the last, you know, 2017, the last eclipse. They even got that nigga on his coin. But now they're about to sacrifice the bull like people are. This is a big thing for them, bro. You know what I'm saying? The Israelite, but it, it all ties back in with the eclipse and then the fact that it's called a heifer. It's heifer. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is crazy. You can pull that up on Google, bro. You, you see the bulls, you know, you know, I'll be going in with Aleph and the ox and the CERN machine and all this shit. And these motherfuckers are literally, it's like a great resetting. You know what I'm saying? Across all layers, spiritual, I mean, from this system, the world we in, man. You know, I wouldn't even be surprised if Buff Daddy get locked up on the eclipse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, be honest. He ain't getting rich away, and I think Buff Daddy. But if you can pull that up, bro, it's called the ref, the red heifer. Like you heifer, you red yeah. heifer. You know, yeah. but the play. Yeah. But, but damn, like, like the red heifers, right? The heifer is what they call like, them. Bring it yeah, exactly. Right now. Texas is where it went through. The One of the last ones went through Corpus Christi, Texas, right? Which is meaning the body of Christ, right? And then this one is going through and is bringing out the Jonah prophecy, right? The red heifer, where they got that stand that is looking right at the Muslim mosque, which is right there in the smack dab in the middle of the Israeli war. They've been trying to get that back for a reason because that's sacred land and water spring. It's a sacred uh, spring that flows through there. But the red heifer, the last time they did this sacrifice, the same type of eclipse happened and the same type of earthy uh earth Facts. and shit sparked up, yo. And so and they've only done it nine place. times like, though, exactly. my nigga. They've like, only done it nine times. You oh, know, yeah. that shit is so crazy, yo. That you know, a lot of this shit I'm not to cut you off me myself and salute my nigga. No, but yeah, girl. You know, I can go I, for I can't wait for bro to pull it up. He might really need to do a stream on this though, the red heifer. Yeah, you know. So it is written. <laughs> like not and the fact that they're, they're doing it on the this is you know they're doing it in, it's called Jerusalem now it's no longer in Arabic yeah, you know right. just like how they had changed Kiev to Kiev but 
that's a whole nother story. But it's like we keep seeing the flip of shit, like a new reality, a resetting. Like, yo, can I major can mark. I say Go one ahead, thing? Bro. You said that they're gonna be chopping, uh, sacrificing a bull with this eclipse, right? So my yes, thing bro. is this right here, right? It brought me back to the Mexican matadors. You know, when they killed a bull, everybody know about the matadors. They put the little red thing out in the bull fight, and they fucking, yeah. they stick the sticks in him. Now watch this, right? Watch this. I'm in the screen share. I'm glad you brought this shit up, bro, because watch this. Bro, this shit is crazy, bro. Watch yeah. this shit. Watch this shit, everybody. The way that they stick that bull is like the man of sin. Just like this. They keep sticking that bull with them little stakes. And guess what? The bull finally die. This is what the bull look like when it's dead on the ground. It got a bunch of them little bitty. You know how the matador keeps stabbing it with a different pen. You know what I'm saying? Now watch this. You ever thought about this? What happens to the bull, right, that die? Because they have a lot of the matador show, shows. You think they throw it away? No, guess what they do? They chop it up and eat it. Now, guess why I'm saying this? Because in Egyptian, the bull was called Osiris, and Osiris' body was chopped up. Now, if you look at Osiris in the heavens, which is serious, it's a dude that's got these spikes. It's the man of sin, basically. We can pull him up. Orion. But check this out, right? To me, and this is my, this is the God's shoe right here. Because look, if you look at the God's shoe, watch this. In the middle of our earth, y'all, there's an hourglass. And if you look at the God's shoe body, it shapes like an hourglass. So then I watch this. In the middle of this Taurus field, you see how the hyperboloid holds up the whole bubble and it's an hourglass. That's like the core of an apple, that shoe. That's the Earth's core, but my thing is this. Look at Orion. That's the false North Pole. Orion is a hunter, dog. That's the whole hunter-gatherer shit. I ain't going to get on that, but I'm all over the place. What I'm saying is this right here, man. Um, What the fuck was I saying? Boy, I got to quit smoking. <laughs> I, I, I gotta quit smoking, my nigga. God damn, that was horrible. Brain fart. The red heifer. And yeah, the so, so, so the red heifer, Osiris the bull being slayed and his body chopped up. Now that's more confirmation that the Mexican matadors are literally carrying out some sort of Osiris ritual. So now I'm saying, bro, I was never reaching on that. That's nah, real he, shit. Not at all. And in fact, when you had brought up the chopping or the, you know, the AP, the AP, the Apis bull, I can yeah, tie it to yeah. Apis, but you remember, you remember the fox, the cunning fox with the chopping up the snake, you know? It's all a reset, bro. The hell fuck no, you ain't reaching my nigga. Even right. why the matador stand as the hyperbole lord and he waves left, he waves Ooh, right, great the tutorial field, you know, my nigga. Bro, guess what, nigga? And not only that, when you said that about the waving and all that, then yeah. the word hopped out at me. The door to the metaverse, meta door. But that's that's the, one, I don't know if that's a reach, nah, nigga, but hey, we, 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 we cooking, nigga. Let's go. I, I, I got a question. Do you think we can make a link to the Minoans? Because I've done this, I've done a, you know a little bit of research on the Minoan civilization, and they had a really big fascination with bulls. Like they had a lot of uh, depictions, but instead of them killing the bulls, they would be like jumping on them 
and creating like circles and seas. I don't know if that could Check also that that. I'm glad you brought that up, my nigga. Yeah, remember, yeah, when Moses, could... remember when Moses went up to Mount Zion and he comes back down and the people are worshiping the bull. So it's it's like motherfuckers are willingly about to enter this system. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I bring up Aleph, which is which is the ox, bro, the CERN machine. And they're shooting CERN at the eclipse, my nigga, for some type of reason. You know what I'm saying? You know? Who that? You know what, man? Dude, that makes sense. What's that? What's that? You know what? I'm gonna tell y'all some real shit. If you ever watch one of these, it's the saddest shit ever. It make me want to stop eating fucking beef, man. Like, it's so sad to see how this bull die a slow death. And it's like each stake drove it into the thing. You can see the bull getting weaker and weaker to finally it just drop down and it's like, I ain't gonna lie, it's some sad shit. But then I was thinking to myself, right? The red curtain that he holding, that's the false. The bull is, see what happens is they, they, they got the, uh, the sales of the bull, you know, where they keep the bull in the back. I forgot, I, it's been so long since I researched this. But what, they ha what happens is they train the bull to see the color red as some sort of way out. You can go look this shit up on your own and, 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 and go into, like, the research behind the curtain and why the bull is mad at... But let, matter of fact, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Red pill niggas. Let's do it now. Hey, let's let do it now. Some. Red pill niggas. That's also why the script, the script or the play is also closed by the red curtains, you know, bro. But keep going. Hey, I can't yo. believe you about to do what you about to do, my nigga. Yeah, because yeah. it's like it's some form of deception, basically, that's making the bull rush at the curtain and not the one that's waving the motherfucker. You see what yeah, I'm they, saying? They, they colorblind or something like that. Yeah, they right. color. Yeah, they they it's colorblind dope. and are actually hold up somebody background. They and they're actually right irritated by the waving motion of the matador's red cape, not the color. So watch this, right? My thing is like, um, if the bull is the soul and the curtain is a false way out and you're running toward the curtain thinking that, okay, this is the open curtains to get out of the simulation and I'm just making this up on some reaching shit and I'm saying that when the bull think that it made it out and it rush into the curtain like a homecoming team that's busting through the paper, that's the bull saying, I'm finna go home, boom, make it through the... My thing is, what it finds is that that wasn't the way out and that's just another, another dagger in your damn back. And if, the, if you can fool the bull enough times you can put so many daggers in his back to where we know the end fate. Now, my thing is, does the bull tell the story of how our consciousness as gods was conquered and fell down by running into the false veils? And instead of making it out, excuse me, instead of, um, you know, making it home, you ended up in the underworld death with the seven pins stuck in your body, looking like the man of sin, what I just showed a minute ago. This is what the bull looked like at the end. It looked like us anchored to the earth as fallen angels. So I was saying maybe because everything they do is a deeper spiritual lesson to it, and this may be yet another ritual teaching us about how our soul either entered the simulation or exiting the simulation because that's what most of the rituals sum up to. Nice, Think of a bull rush. You know, even for that to even be a term, a bull rush. I was just but, about to say that shit in the Bitcoin is huge this year with the bull rush. Hey, salute, JT. Hell yeah. And 
it's crazy because it will be a bull rush if this shit is crumbling. That's just so yeah, crazy. and it's the bro. currency shit, bro. Uh huh. It's so crazy. And check this out, though, bro. It's bro, only it's so two crazy. animals that really get affects, but affected by this waving, you know, this motion, and it's a snake and a bull. You know, that's just so crazy, man. But so. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like switching from ages too. you know, the bull and the snake. And I just tied up the birth of computers, man, BC, the hex, you know. But this right here is crazy, though. Well, that's and it's like, like you know, Hey, go ahead. Hey, yeah. BZ, I called you, BZ. I called you information man earlier because you look just like the nigga, but I ain't mean to. Nah, I just know, I just a lot of research, man. And like, for some reason, like, when you talk about computers, it's like the brain computer. A lot of that shit just sit there. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, well, I, I study. That's all, you know, but I appreciate it. But like, you know, just to build on that, um, you can also look at the, 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 the bull as uh, symbolism as to you know what what's to come, and the idea that even though there's people on this plane or this earth plane that don't want that to come, it's no stopping it. Because when you look at what's happening to the bull, um, he keeps chasing the uh, or, or trying to bust through the curtain, and they're sticking him on his back. But no matter how many times they stick those projectiles or missiles in him, he's still coming. It's like it's like nothing's gonna stop him from coming you know, or until he died. But another thing I wanted to add was that, like, I must have been meant to be on this show at this time because notice that I mentioned earlier how, like, it's, sometimes it's hard for me to catch some, some live shows, you know what I'm saying? Be, because of, you know, work and whatever else is going on in my life. Yeah, nothing is going this busy. Keep going, though. I still go back and, you know, I, I still watch the shows, but it ain't nothing like being on the panel, you know, with, with these like minds or whatever. But the reason why I said fate must have brought me on this show because I've been I've been um I've been in the stock market uh, lately and I'm becoming a trader, right? So I'm also I'm thinking about making it my business and I would do YouTube channels, right? So I said that I would call myself on the YouTube when I would make my YouTube channel, I would call myself the day trade matador. Right now, we're talking about finance here, right? We're talking about got everything to do with the stock market so if you're not familiar with the terms of the stock market when you see when you're looking at a stock chart and you see the green bars go up the green they, they call them candlesticks when you see the the green bars go up that symbolize what they call a bullish run. Oh, yeah. now what happens when a hold on let me just build with you real quick dude. go ahead bro good it's gonna be 10 seconds Nigga, if you don't do that shit, bro, a nigga that's got the word matador in his name and he's dealing with the bull market, damn, you know what I'm that's genius, bro. God damn, go ahead, waking him up. That is so dope. Look, I said hey, for the longest. Hey, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. You go, go ahead. I just want to put that out, bro. Like when I like I sat for the longest, right, thinking about what it was gonna be, right? I was gonna either be the day the uh day trade bandit or a day trade matador. The reason why I picked matador because I wanted it to kind of kind of fit inside with trading and 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 you know bulls and stuff. So I kind of wanted to either have some type of double entendre or just something that you know was catchy and it spoke to the market. You know what I'm saying? Just the day. Mm -hmm. Now, now what happens? What happens when you see the red line or the red flag that she holds it right here? The floor's going we down, and we know what a and we know what a red flag is, right? You know what I'm saying? So even with even with Israel about to do this shit, you know, y'all niggas rituals. going the fuck in, bro. <laughs> Hold on, wait. This nigga said, bro. Now you going into the red flag with this shit, yo. The syncretism is stupid right now. I ain't gonna lie. It's crazy. My bad for Much that, bro. Respect, man. It's all good, bro. Much yeah, it's respect, crazy. Man. Cause we say something is a red flag, bro. Go ahead and holler at that with that matador cape. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, you and it's so crazy because you know Hamas, who we wouldn't know anything about mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
you know, because we want to know. And a red ahead, flag bro. gets us mad and worked up, and it'd be a nothing burger to the capitalize off our energy. Just bro. like the bull red flag. Y'all niggas Thanks, is fucking bro. crazy Thanks, tonight, bro. man. Why you my nigga? <laughs> damn, <laughs> nigga. God damn. <laughs> Hey, shout out yeah. to my sister Katrina for sponsoring this classic program tonight. Flat motherfucking power. Yeah, y'all go ahead, man. We let new people on, too. Well, you know, bro, you started it, my nigga. Boy, that stream today, man. People, if y'all ain't watch it yet, and I know we gonna watch it later on your main channel, but you went the fuck in, my nigga. You know, that's a great stream. And then even I have time to come over here to where we can even build, you know? So God. that was fire, my nigga. Much Bro, respect. I'm gonna have to cut this out though, and put it like some of this on Golden Wings on my mama, cause nigga, I did not know we was finna go to flat powering and go in like this. Mm hmm. And I like I dude brought up, you know, he's stock trading, but it's crazy. You say you day trading, but you even though you day trading, you know the shit happens at night, you know, and it just ties it back to the eclipse, the bull, the the whole shit, you know, but what I really want people to look out for, man, is that Hamas has been planning to do shit on the eighth because Israel, they're they're literally the the sacrifice, the sacrificial shit they about to do on the eighth is establishing Jerusalem as the capital of fucking Israel. You know, this is all scriptural they, shit. They try. They no, no, bro, no, let me let me tell you something, bro. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something, bro. Ahead, bro. If something crazy happened during an eclipse on an eclipse date, oh man, that's just this is just getting crazy. Now, nah, yeah, go ahead. That's what I was saying. Got states, they got uh, they got several states right now, dog, preparing for a state of emergency. Preparing because to you know what? Hey, hey, hey! Look, I heard that. Also, they were saying that the communications may go down. Who heard that? Statues. Yeah, yeah, what I can tell you about the eighth. Talkies. Listen, listen, get walkie talkies. You know, that's what me and my family have been talking about. Try to get the same brand. Go get some cheap ones. It don't matter. But just, it's going to last. It's fucking if it crazy, do happen, man. it's not going to last forever. But yeah, we, that's what we talk about over here. And, on the uh, and I'm not really saying this shit as like fear mongering and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just want my people to just, just have your eyes aware. You know what I'm saying? Of what's going to happen. And bro, the fact that it's on the 4-8, which is 48, you know, half of 48 is 24. The 24 is the fucking AE map. Oh, it's the mm -hmm. O and the X again. You know what I'm saying? Even though they calendar, it's not accurate, but it is the the years how they, for example, the Jerusalem calendar in 2021, it was 5782. You know what I'm saying? It was 5,782 years since you know they're they established they shit. Even if you put in right now, it's gonna tell you the year in Jerusalem. Hey, is that a mile or is it 5,820 feet is a mile? That's my birthday. Yeah, that's, that's my birthday. Five, but five, but five, even though it's five, five, five man, I, I, I'm gonna tell y'all some real shit, <clears throat> and this may seem off topic, but you keep bringing up Jerusalem, right? And the only thing I'm saying is, Trump is the man in Jerusalem, Israel, and I I got to get with Citizen Man because I that's my brother. But check it out. He's, listen, a lot of our people, they on the Trump train. And, nigga, it's a reason the Jews had that man on the coin. And look, when Trump first got in the office, it was 7777. Bro, it was, I did a whole video on it. Nigga, but I ain't finna go into that. I'm gonna let Awakening Minds finish what he's saying, and I'm gonna pick it back behind him with some Trump shit. But yeah, go ahead, Awakening. You, you got it, man. My mm -hmm. bad. It's all good money. And you were spot on, my nigga. And that was a classic street back then, you know? I Appreciate think that, that brother. You, hell yeah, yeah, that's even when you had Super Chat on the big channel, you know? When people get them aha moments, we can goddamn support our brother. I can't stand chaos, man. Hey. But we here on Flat Power. Go ahead, bro. My bad. Shout out the Macro Watchers. Flat motherfucking power says salutes, bro. And the number one conscious community on YouTube. Love y'all. Stay safe. Much love to you. Love you too, Macro Watchers. Thank you for the support, Flat Power. Hell yeah, bro. And you know, I was bringing up that X that the damn Eclipse is going to be making and shit, you know, from the previous one on 2017. 
And I think me myself had brought this up before. It goes through several major cities that's even called Salem. It's like Heru Salem, having the eclipse go all the way through mm-hmm. Heru Salem, you know, Heru. Jerusalem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, my now, nigga. Now, now, you remember when I first broke that shit down with, uh, the, say, with e- Egyptian god Heru in Salem? Because you know, um, even you got a Winston Salem in North Carolina. So the mm-hmm. whole thing about that word Salem. That is this sort of mythical place where uh, the witches, like a witches, so they like they got them Salem's in uh, New York and shit like that. But it's yeah, it's just Uncle Sam and L, bro, Salem or King but, Samuel. But but um, it, it's the chaos. It's the O N X. All the fu- man, I you know I don't do the fear monger and shit. This ain't about fear and shit. I just want my people just be aware on that day. That's all, you know, just. And my thing is this right here, man. Don't wear no fucking goofy ass goggles. Watch that shit naked out. Listen, go raw dog. Listen, they may say, if you're telling people not to wear goggles, it may turn into some, you telling them not to wear a corona mask type shit in the future. You know what I'm saying? But and nah, they telling you to wear an apple eye vision, but they telling you to go out and view nature. Like, when was an eclipse dangerous, nigga? I mean, I can understand. God damn. Like, yeah, (laughs) nigga need protection from everything. Shout out to United with Earth's energy, flat motherfucking power. Think about it. Since when have we ever heard of the closing school and deploying military for an eclipse? Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Hold the fuck up. We got to change the conversation right now. Tell me you plan. Wait a minute. No, he not Hold playing. Up. They, They're they closing that. the schools and deploying the military. Oh, my God. Yes, yeah, bro. There's the natural service. Like, they're, pre- <laughs> they're preparing for shit to happen, my nigga. Like, you can look this Wait, up right now. Bro, on the eight. Guess what, bro? I am going live first thing tomorrow on my main channel. Because guess what this confirmed? And I, I'm not fear-mongering. Guess what, y'all? I wouldn't be surprised. If when this eclipse happened, s- s- listen, hear me out. Not only may we lose all communications and all that shit, when this eclipse happened, you remember when Elon Musk sent the red car to space and for a brief minute we saw the green screen and we said, told y'all that, that they was faking space with NASA. Who remember that? I remember that. Now watch this. Now guess what we telling people? We ain't saying they just faking space. We saying the whole simulation that we in is fake, like the Truman Show. Now watch this. What if this great eclipse that's about to happen is going to be similar to the red car event to where we see the whole glitch in the matrix and they got to have people on standby because all hell about to break loose. Okay. Hey, I can't I'll wait, though. I cannot wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shout, shout out to Bobby and Jay Stewart and everybody. We got you. Salute everybody. How y'all doing? My bad, my bad. Okay, if that happens, it's over with. Like, I want that to happen if it does end up like that way because... We all need an awakening here. We need this. Let me check this let me out, David. In that hey, show, I, I'm going to let you build. Just 20 seconds, my nigga. Just 20 oh, seconds. You got, you got it. it. You got it. In that show, Three Body Problem, bro, they all sat around when the eclipse about to happen, and mm-hmm. they flicked the sky. The sky flicked, my nigga. The stars went yep, on and on. Yes. About to get into awakening. Bro, that shit. Go ahead, though, my brother. Go ahead. Awakening. That's what I wanted to touch on. In that TV show, the whole universe glitched, right? But one thing that I took away from that, like, not that the universe glitched, it was the overall reaction to people within the world, like the universe of that show. Nobody really blinked the eye at that shit like it was really nothing. You, you feel me awake? Peace and love to the panel. Shout out. Peace and love, my power. sister. Flat motherfucking like, think about power. It, after that, nah, I know TV what you mean, show, my nigga. Because I was kind of mad. Right. They were so... TV, in that TV show, after the universe lit, 
It wasn't no like uh, country upheaval. It wasn't niggas saying, yo, down with the government. None of that shit. It was just niggas went back to work. But in but you real know what? life, think about it. If the universe glitched, niggas is not trying to get up and go to work tomorrow. Nah, we but what it did. What it did, not to cut you off, my nigga, but what it did, it's like, it's like now everyone knew there was AI. They knew they lived in a simulation. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, not only did it blink, it, it actually showed like, you know how the Matrix but hold showed on. you the... Go ahead. I, I, I don't mean to cut you off, but I just realized there's a lot of news clips that's explaining why this eclipse is going to be so special and different from the other ones. So when you done, we're going to take a minute to check a couple of clips. We're going to come back. Go ahead. You got it awakening. Nah, this is a classic stream, bro. You got plenty of people on the stream. You know it's a classic stream with the information, my nigga. So let's, let somebody else speak or play the clip, my nigga. Well, well look, appreciate that because I'm going to go to Interstellar News. Um, I guess this will tell us why this one going to be I'm going to tell you right now, man, I don't want to interrupt you for no clickbait. So let's go to skip over to why this one is rare and get right to the shit. Let's go right here. Really cool experience. And the fifth and last thing that you need to know about the April 8th total eclipse is that it will be the last one in the contiguous United States until 2044 and 2045. So if you can make the trip, do it, because you're not going to be able to see another one for 20 years, at least in North Carolina. Hold on, this, this, this was like a sort of, I'm thinking this was a real news station. Y'all got to forgive me, I'm drinking too right now. It's, it's Friday, good, though, shit. But that number, Look, yo, 2045 is one of the initiatives you always talking about, so. Hey, I just want to drop a bomb for a lioness. Thank you for the super chat, my sister. She said, this is a classic for sure, flat motherfucking power. I'm going to tell you right now why I think this eclipse is special. Fuck the news clip. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, we can do this with the panel. I'm going to ask y'all, and I'm going to ask myself first. The question is, what make this eclipse so special? Right? And my answer to that would be, and I'm going to pass it around, is that it probably represents another great turning point in America. And, and what make any eclipse is special is that every eclipse is a symbol in the heavens to show a collective turning point and paradigm shift on the earth. So what make this eclipse so special is the same thing what made the last one special in the greater North American eclipse. After that eclipse, we went into a whole nother government system and don't nobody even know it, man. Tell me I'm lying. Nah, you like you're not Bro, lying. listen, after that last eclipse and then the pandemic came, it was so many laws and infrastructure changes. We ain't even in a democracy no more technically since then. And I think we finna have another great shift in the system of government after this one to it's finna start looking more and more new world orderish and fuck and fucking militant in, in a police state. What say y'all to that question? No well, fear mongering. Sure. Not trying to fear monger. Let me mute up. I'm about to say something that I, I got to put the, the same disclaimer out there that it's not about fear mongering, but it's like it's, it's tied into, you know, with every everything that they trying to keep from us. So in this cosmic event, if this is like some have some type of effect on on the people. Right. That would either be a negative effect or a positive effect. I'm thinking positive because we, you know, we dealing with the age of Aquarius and all that shit, you know, that if it's something that they actually want to keep from. A, oh, man. Hold on, man. I got scared the hell out of me. I saw somebody creeping up on me. I'm in the car. But um, it, it's like if they want to keep that, for, man, I'm in my rearview mirror and I see somebody creeping up on me. And it's my girl. She's trying to play a trick on me, but oh, I see it. Oh, man, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. It's kind of fucked me up, too. Yeah, like, oh, I'm bro. Because yeah, cause... I'm reaching for my door, though. I'm reaching yeah. for my door, man. Like, I'm about to, because, like, I know niggas around here, but they'll go in your car in a minute. You know what I'm saying? No, you scared the hell out of me, girl. 
<laughs> Shout out yeah. to the queen. We glad everything Gucci, man. We'll drop a bomb for that. You got it, bro. I'm gonna be on Bro Sanchez. Girl, you scared the hell out of me, girl. I thought I was mad. <laughs> I saw you creeping. I saw you creeping. <laughs> His heart beating like a motherfucker, y'all. His heart beating like a motherfucker. <laughs> let me holler at her right quick, man. Let me let somebody take the flow right All quick, bro. All right, bro. Salute, man. Hey, I ain't going to lie, bro. You you know, we in 2024. You be watching live streams, and next thing you know, shots go off. The streamer get popped. And, like, when I heard that, I'm like, oh, shit, he all right, nigga. Some shit going on, nigga. I went into. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> paying attention to my surroundings because, look, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of, a, of you know, saying something. But I could see in my rear view, in, in my, uh, the driver's side rear view mirror, somebody creeping up. And she got like a little, she got a bun on top of her head, but I didn't see the bun on first. So I thought that was a dude, any dude creeping up. Some, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Hello to everybody on the panel, though, man. Peace, peace. Peace and love. Yeah, that, that's yeah, what's man. up, man. My whole thought and everything, man. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, like but but I, no, like, what we was going, you was going into how it ain't about fear mongering. But right, right, it's right, just, right. yeah, uh-huh. Right. So, so the whole idea of the people that don't want us to know about it or, or have these plans, right? Like when the brother said uh, the uh, Gregorian calendar is wrong, like it's been wrong, but they following the signs just like we following the signs, like we supposed to follow the signs. So it's like when I, when I say it's not fear mongering, I'm dealing with the fact of like either certain effects that's going to take place or what they have in plan to do uh, because of the effects, you know what I'm saying? And again, when we go back to the Bible, we talk about the signs of the time. We talk about that specific time and the, there's going to be earthquakes and volcanoes and shit like that. And I mentioned on the channel a while back how what if like this world is built because I, I have a hard time believing that God would create a world with these earthquakes and these volcanoes. You know what I'm saying? That maybe is actually a self-destruct mechanism that is put in place for when they need it the most. Also dealing with the 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 loss of power and all that, you know, but I just wanted to put that out there that, you know, like the brother said, we got to keep our eyes open and we got to be mindful as to what's going to happen because anything could happen, bro, you know, and not be longer, but not, they, what they call natural disasters might not be so natural. Natural at all. It's a lot of shit that they do purposely, you know, to continue their agenda or script. But, bro, Sanchez, I got another question for you, my nigga. And you know, I don't always question. <laughs> but, um, you know, I had brought up the the tetrahedron and the collider, the hadron, the hedron collider, but also the horn, the horn bull, you know, and here they are sacrificing this bull like a physical bull. You know what I'm saying? Like the horn bull, the apis okay. bull, horn, hadron, hadron uh -huh. and the, the tetrahedron merging. Because I love when you had a, you literally had the tetrahedron symbol up and it was it was worded. You know, it was showing the merger of solar and earth. You know, I, I think that would be a nice bill right there, too, my nigga. Well, look. My thing is like, hey, shout out to United with Earth's Energy for, for once again, man, for that super chat, flat motherfucking power. Hey, check, check this out, man. You, we go, you see, you want me to go into, uh, um, I'm going to put the, mm -hmm. I was going to say, I'm going to put the link of, of the collider with the horn bull, you know, just so you can flip to that too. But well, that's what I'm no. saying, because when they drive all the stakes into the bull, right? I got you like the CERN Collider. It looked like a bull with a bunch of stakes in it, like that man of sin picture. And, and then when you think about it, it goes into like the Statue of Liberty. You know what I'm saying? With all the fuck, because this really what, you know, the voodoo doll with all the needles in it. See, watch this shit, bro. I'm finna go on, go deep, man. Fuck this shit. I'm about to go deep, man. Fuck this shit. Watch this. Who put the, who told me to pull this image right here? Because I'm about to go into this, right? 
y'all see this, this? Somebody on the panel told me to pull this image up, and I don't know who did it. Me, bro. That's when we were talking about the the um the matador, you know. But go ahead. But watch this. I'm gonna show you what all of them stakes in the bull is. Watch this. Look at your electromagnetic energy field. Guess what, yo? Eat, you're inside of your own multiverse, right? And basically what this bubble is, is the universe. But the universe is made out of many multiverses. The one is made, the, the L is made out of the Elohim, the plural. From the one, the one is born from the many and vice versa. But check this out. Each of these little squares that you see surrounding his body that's making that bubble, each one of them is one of these TV screens. Each one of those squares on that Taurus field leads you into another universe. Now, you know how I be teaching y'all that the chakras are portals into other universes? Watch this, right? The chakras go down your spinal cord. Now, look at this image. You see how all of these squares that's surrounding this dude is being projected in lunch from his spinal cord? See, each of these squares is like branches coming from the tree, which is the tree trunk, which is the spinal cord. Look at the image. All of these, see, if you look at the squares that's making this bubble around your body, all that's being projected from the spinal cord. Remember, remember on my show earlier, I was saying how the world around us is really being projected from in us, and I was saying how it's in the spinal cord, and I know that sounds crazy. But look, the world around us, all the stars in the sky are just the fucking, you know how the stars are twinkling and flickering and shit, y'all, right now? Watch this, right? This is what I want you to do tonight. When you go in your room, cut all the lights off, but leave the TV on. And guess what? If you look at a TV on from far, far away, it'll look like flickering star because the, how the TV, the people moving, the commercials coming. This is how the stars flickering. Like, so I'm saying that each of them stars in the sky is a different fucking screen that leads into a different movie, but the same character in a different it's setting. Th this right here, bro, this is some real shit. Oh, like every star in the sky is basically a stargate or a portal into a different alternate reality. And that's what all these screens is. But the reason they got that is cause this is what they stealing it from right here. Hey, can I build with you real quick, bro? Salute. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mute up and listen. Salutes, Bobby Knight. Welcome hey, back. Salute, my nigga. Look, I want to uh, build with where y'all, where you was going with this, and what the brothers were saying earlier about oh. the bulls. Go ahead. What? My oh, bad, man. Bobby. I thought that they weren't getting you. You, they can hear you. Go ahead, my okay, bad. They my can bad. hear me. Cool. Yeah. So what I was saying is, hey, you're a little low. To your, oh, okay, let me fix my mic a little bit. I might, I might do be a little bit low. I'm on my, uh, I'm on my midnight storm shit. But look, when you were talking about uh, the uh, different cues being different pixels, different projections, right? Then, the, uh, then the other brother was talking about the matador, it being the bull poking the bull or whatnot. And then, as I'm doing more research on uh, this solar eclipse, right? And they're saying that the states that are actually in the path for the uh, actual full eclipse, those are the states that are um, that are getting the National Guard support. You feel me? And they're saying that the actual support that they're getting from the military is like these um, people that specialize in uh, nuclear radiation, radioactive type of bombs and things like that. This is what they're saying, right? So what I'm, you know, so what I'm drawing from what everybody putting together, even with the Matador thing, the Matador from what from what I've got is that's all based around the running of the bulls, right, Sanchez? And the running of the bulls is something that don't happen every time, but it's a it, it, it's like when it comes time for that ceremony of the running of the bulls, that's when 
all the bulls get released. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, is that what they kind of preparing for? Like they know, like to y'all point, they can kill one bull. That's what the matter they'll do. That they showing you how to kill a bull. But when it's time for the running of the bulls, and it, that they open up that portal or that gate, all the bulls coming out. Niggas is running for their fucking lives, nigga. <laughs> It's not a, you know, they not, ain't no matador time and when it's the running of the bulls. It's time to just run. So, Meanwhile, what y'all think about missiles. that? And they want to shoot missiles, Bobby. I mean, you, hey, listen, shooting a missile in a, in a case like this, in my assumption, would be like trying to add an extra dead bolt to the door. Or if it's a bull gate that's gonna be open, you trying to put that little wood block on there or something. You 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 trying to cause a, a little temporary something to buy yourself some time because you made it. I yeah. think they're trying to deter some frequency that's coming out of there. Just yeah. like said it's a portal straight up. They I got that's a, what I'm uh, saying. I got I'm a using that as a back I'm, chat too. Yeah, I'm using that as an analogy because if the portal, because if what they saying they finna set off is a, a sound missile. Or something it like is. that. Yeah, that's dealing with frequency yes. disruption. Bobby, I'm glad yes. you brought that up too again. And salutes, my nigga. Bro, if you can pull that article you up on the you had up on the first time when you were streaming, and they said NASA shoots a sound missile, you know, these adjectives. Be you know, it's a lot of keys in this adjectives. And I really needed to research what the fuck is a sounded missile, a sound missile, you know what I mean? But well, you can I'm gonna say this. Up. I don't know where the sound missile is, but I do know this. I remember back in the day, uh, my science teacher told me, and this was, uh, you know, when uh, we was going into cymatics and frequencies, right? Awakening. And uh, we was uh, getting into de decibels, right? And my science teacher told me that if you can make a sound that was like above like 15 dBs or 30 dBs, it's something like that. If you could create an 808 sound or something that, like, if you made a took an 808 and you magnified or ampli amplified it so loud and then just hit it one time, theoretically, that could open up a portal or a black hole. It makes a yeah, eclipse. Of, yeah, and that's there we literally go. the think of the death. I know you're talking about music and shit, but right. think of the decimal symbol because the shit works the same way in our language, too, though. You know, it's an ending of a point. You see what I'm saying? It's an ending of a cent. Pence. There you go. Same thing. That's a more decibel. But I'm, I'm glad you're touching it on frequency and vibration. Hell yeah, my nigga. Keep going. DB. Hey, I wanted to build on what Bobby was saying. Like, uh, that's why, like, back in the day, all right, you always used to hear this thing about, you know, the mark of the beast and the chip and everything. That's why I was so sold on a chip that, uh, uh, RFID chip, uh, which is uh, radio frequency identification. So my whole thing was the chip is that there would be a time like this, right? And it's like if there, if if it's allowing, if this natural uh, uh, occurrence is allowing people to receive these frequencies from a natural universe, right? Mm -hmm. That if the veil is being lifted, like Bobby said, like it's kind of like a way to kind of. Uh, put an extra boat on the door, like basically right. to keep the the people who are asleep, right, to keep them asleep at a time of an awakening, which which brought me to the chip and understanding that okay, what if once you put that chip in your body, then you become that person? Because when we talk look, about, Beasy, can I build with you, bro? Yeah, even, even when you go into the uh, the Bible, right? They say the mark of the beast is the mark of is the mark of man, right? I don't know who that is with hella static right now. Somebody got a strength. But they say the mark of the beast is the mark of man, right? When you when you um think about like uh Bob Lazar, I brought this up before, but when Bob Lazar said the most um controversial thing he's ever seen at Area 51 is this document talking about the Bible and basically explaining how the human body is just um, a container for the soul. You ever heard of that awakening? That the body, the, the body in essence yeah. Oh, yeah, my is, is, is a container. It's so a think container about it. Think about it. If the mark of the beast is the mark of man, and we keep looking for this chip, and we understand that this is a simulation, right? I'm just theorizing now, and we going down this rabbit hole. What if the actual mark of the beast is your body? 
Watch this, right? I'm telling like you, hey, hey, watch this, though. Well, let, let, let me holler at that. It's both. Because I'm going to tell you what, right? When you look at what the mark of the beast is, it is a mark that's received on a forehead. But from that mark, you can project your consciousness into a body. So the body and the mark are one and the same. Because this opens up the gateway to the metaverse to where, listen, to where humans can now project our consciousness out the body into where? Other bodies. The, the, in other words, the, like an airplane lands on a landing strip, strip, the consciousness lands on the spinal cord in, in, in the body, in the central nervous system, the landing strip. Um, so from one airport to another one. And the body, and, and, and so the, the the whole thing about this mark of the beast that you're speaking of is it, you can't have it without the whole 2045 human avatar project, the blue avatar, which is why the Statue of Liberty is blue, Vishnu is blue, the movie Avatar is because the whole secret is the universe ain't physical. It's all about projecting consciousness into avatars. You know what I'm saying? So you're right, Bobby, but at the same time, too, the whole thing about the technology of Neuralink and how we decode it with the sit, sit, sits and all that, all of that is true because uh, sits is the number of man. And um, if you look at even, but look, even, and this is another whole thing about the sit, sit, sits I want to bring up. Watch this. Even all of the connections we make about CERN, Google, all this shit tie together. It ain't a, b a bunch of different technologies. It's a bunch, like my mic is one thing, my speakers is one thing, but all that's connected to a fucking modem. That modem is the babble tower. That's the spinal cord. That connects the eyes, the ears, the throat, the mouth, and all that to the legs, the hands. It, it, this spinal cord connects all that shit to one thing. Just like your mic, your speakers, your hard drive, your, your fucking whatever you got. All that going connects to the modem. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's what I was saying about like. All of this shit we seeing is con interconnected and, 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 and serving its purpose to get us toward this whole IOT, right? Internet of Things and ultimately connect, re uh, uh, connect our consciousness into it. It'll be possible in the near future for people to say, you know what? I want to go live. Uh, li you can be able to live out multiple life lives at once by uploading into other bodies and avatars, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so, I mean, this is a good bill. I like where it's going. Let's shout out the beneficial, flat motherfucking power beneficial. Um, appreciate the love. When you put the glasses on, you won't see the glitch, for sure. From the movie They Live. But, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely with y'all on this one. Good shit. I like how you pulled up that 666 tied it to CERN. And, and then it even showed the, the Google symbol, too. If you can go back to that screen. Yeah, it had the Google symbol mm -hmm. of the log. That's right. Because, you know, even Google, you know, we see the symbol being the spiral, but you use it as the log. You know what I'm saying? Like the bar, the, the, the rabbi. The, but think know. about think about what we're saying. All right. CERN, CERN is the 666, right? Mm -hmm. And CERN is dealing with frequency manipulation and, and straight light energy har harvesting, right? It's, On it, electromagnetic it, it, level. It's dealing with trying to pierce through the veil with a cell. Right, right, right. That's what I'm saying. With, right. Yeah, you got with, it. With, you frequ got it. with frequency yeah. manipulation and, and electromagnetic, I'm, I'm drawing with you. So, yeah. when I'm, so where I'm trying to build it, where I'm building it with you is that if we, if we um, theorize in that, the human body is a container, right? And this yeah. is actually our, you know, technology, you know, our, you know, 666, you know what I mean? That's our, you know, so quote unquote serial code or whatnot, right? Our frequency, our tag. Then if somebody is building a CERN machine, wouldn't theoretically um, 
they they will be able to bring in some type of energy in order to harness the body because technically the body like on some um what's the get out shit the body is the body is separate from what we call the mind or the spirit we could we can essentially be booted up out this motherfucker and then have to go find another body which is kind of like what that three body problem show was about them folks was coming from somewhere else to steal they bodies essentially you know <laughs> and i've been talking about the body snatchers i hope we didn't do no spoilers but the ho matt hold on hold on yeah so right. check this, so check this out um yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. You got it. It's so yeah. crazy because no, the, go guy they put on, the goggles they put on on three body problem, it looks just like the toroidal feel right here, you know, that they put on your head. You know, not to nothing will spoil it. This toroidal feel is the virtual reality goggles, yeah, like what they put. Bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah not it's, only it's that, when you look at the goggles that he put on. And, and, and one more thing. Remember oh, that helmet is the same, that mirror color, man, like in the Matrix when the mirror get mm -hmm. liquid. That's, that's what I was going to get to. Hey, look, look, that, look, put me. look, look, hey, look okay. that's the real night suit that the knights wear. They telling us some yes, bullshit, bro. like a nigga I'm with a steel suit on. Yeah, go ahead. You got it. No, I'm uh -huh. finna, I'm finna, I'm finna tell you what you put me on, though, bro. As I uh, looked at that helmet, the first thing that came to mind was that uh, Tipler cylinder, and I was like, "Well, these boys just like it all made sense because you probably don't remember when you was doing that build about that cylinder and how those folks actually they had that out of body experience when they went into that curved mirrored glass." cylinder thing and just sat there and as they started to like meld into that you know what i mean environment they they got up and was able to explore into an alternate dimension this mm -hmm. is damn near what they what they're showing you here this is like a tipler cube or tipler cylinder wrapped around your head so to speak you yeah, feel it's me? crazy. It's crazy because it's silver, like mercury. You know, right, so right, fresh. right. You got and it. you know that shit really remind me of that, uh, like a St. Louis style Rams type him, or even, yeah. or even, <laughs> e even, even that hairstyle that we call a mohawk. But yeah, you got it. My bad. And they they call the L. A. Rams now. You know, L. Rams, but. That's crazy, but yeah, the, the show, man. I, 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 I want y'all to watch this, man. You know, pick up some gems from it. You, you'll see for yourself. Yeah, it's like, Dan, so what's Dan the coincidence that they dropping this shit dropping right it, before right. they do the eclipse? Mm -hmm, and it's, they got mm -hmm. the goggles, and they got the you know the shit coming out the yeah. out yeah. the yeah. sky. Yeah. 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 Now watch this I'm shit. You know, now Sunday. what? Now, now what? Now wait a minute. Hear, hear me out now. With the eclipse and the goggles, when you put the head gear on, you have an eclipse when you go into the game, how your two eyes merge together. And what mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we're in a simulation of big game. And when the eclipse happened, we enter a new layer of the game, which is why we see it just like the gamers did right here. Now, check this out, right? The thing, what I'm saying is, every time they take the goggles off, and put them back on, they have another eclipse. And, and guess what? Every time they take the goggles off and put them back on, they enter a higher level in the game. From stage one, stage two, stage three, they get better at the game. So check it out. Taking the goggles off and putting them back on represent us breaking through these different seals and going to higher levels. Because every time that happened, guess what? Even if you look at these goggles, look at this little triangle right here. That's the birthday hat. Every time they go in and out, the game is rebirth or another eclipse. Mama mean daddy. Left eye, right eye. Sun and moon merging. So check this out. It, it's so deep. Because you reach a point to when you beat the game, you take those goggles off and you never put them back on again. And that's the whole thing about I don't got to go behind the veil again, the blindfold. See, these Eclipse represent a stage. We going into a higher stage in the game, just like when they put this shit on. Peep game, Sanchez. The, the TV show is called Three Body Problem, right? What have we been? What have we been saying about our uh, 
existence here this whole time as we see eclipse. We got the sun, we got the moon, right? And then we got this other thing that they telling us is the moon. You right. feel me? You see where I'm going, Sanchez? A three, three body a problem. Three body problem, bro. We got real talk. Listen. Like the mo it's really this follow, shit follow is based me, on a true story. <laughs> right. They trying to tell you right this now. Shit is now listen, so and then everything, you, on, really. every, everything, oh, even down to the AI though. But hey, go down ahead. Down to yeah. the AI. Now this is the point that I'm trying to get. In the in a three body problem, the whole point that they was trying to get them to understand is that by y'all being in this three body system, y'all are y'all are y'all are looking at y'all universe from a um. Uh, a bipolar perspective instead of a tripolar perspective. And even we do that, Sanchez. We go man and woman. But then once you take man and woman and you put that together, guess what that automatically equals? Child. You, you, you see what I'm saying? If you say negative and positive, guess what? Then you got to have that on a pole in order for it to interact. You feel me? That's the third party right there. So... If we if we know that we operating in this tripolar system and we never take into account the third the third party, then just like in that TV show, what if we are coming into a quote unquote chaotic era or a point in time where this third body is now finna manifest itself and say, no, nah, nigga, no more invisibility, nigga. Now y'all got to deal with me. You got to deal with the energy that the third body put putting off. Like they were saying in that TV show, we harnessing energy now, now in, watch the, in this, a folded right? space. Go watch ahead. this. Three-body problem. You know what that make me think of? Father, Son, Holy Ghost. But check yeah, this. Let's but, go. That's what I'm saying. But, the but, but, check this. But, and, and, then, and, and the Trinity. Now, guess what? Here go one of the symbols of Yahweh right here, y'all. Peep that. Peep that. Three-body problem right there. That's Yahweh. the Triforce right there, nigga. Legend of Zelda shit. That's the that's the that's the quantum computer too, bro. So and it's pointing down, you know. But um, it's also you know Isaac Newton has the three body problem where he's saying that, you know, it's really go back to Sirius star system too, though. You know, if we can talk about the real three body problem, but it's really the three pyr it's the pyramid. You know what I'm saying? It's Mount Maru. Once we flip this shit back up. You know, but if you you can even put that in Google, he, that scientifically that's a problem that no science can solve. The three yeah, I, I pulled it up music. and and I went and I ended the stream before going into it. But I'm thinking about just be doing a series of streams leading up to the uh, eclipse. So I'm will be going live again um, on Bro Sanchez tomorrow, and I'm gonna be bringing up. See, because what I want people to realize is that, like, we just did a connection I want y'all to pay attention to. Three-body problem on Netflix is coming out during the same time as this eclipse. And what this eclipse is really should be showing the world is that, listen, people, we literally are in a tri-star system, and we're under a three-body problem. Like, it's crazy how when I saw The Matrix for the first time, I left the movie saying, damn, we in a Matrix. That the only thing makes sense. And then now when I'm watching this three body problem and I'm looking at the eclipses, I'm like, damn, Bobby, you hit it, man. Like, this shit, know, is, this Netflix shit is based on a true story, man. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was telling you to watch it. But the three body problem, this is why I bring up the unit circle. It's explaining the X, Y and Z, you know, the dimensions of light or the dimensions of reality. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really a problem. It's a problem if you don't know that Earth is flat. You know what I'm saying? But there the is their circle, problem. Yeah. Yeah. Real talk, my nigga. They can plagiarize it. They can. But you know what's crazy? They know the riddle to the problem. They created Hell the problem yeah. for the gamers to solve. That's the Rubik's yes. Cube. That's the Rubik's Ready Cube. Player game. One. Yep. Rubik's Ready Cube. Player man. one, level one. But, you know, it's crazy. I want you to know that relay layers and relay that's the same word too you know layers relays passing the baton up the mountain damn the that's dope mm -hmm. that is dope. relays 
Same that shit, is bro. fucking dope. Mm-hmm. The, uh, hey, let me give a shout out to my brother Reggie P. Flat motherfucking power. He said that um, y'all are on point this Friday. Peace and love, bro. Man, I swear, man, we auto. Like, this is just, I'm going to take this whole stream tonight and I'm going to have to put it on my main channel. Like, I just wanted to grow, um, help grow. And then y'all, pro- this probably would have happened different if I would have did anything different. So everything happened for a reason. This is dope. I tell you right now, though, this right here, Give me a new meaning of the Hiram of Biff ritual because they blindfold you when you um in, in Freemasonry and shit. And I never thought it was just like a black blindfold. I knew it was something symbolic and that this is them talking about like the uh the uh simulation that we going into. But check this out. Even in three body problem, the AI is called the Santi. And if you rearrange that, that's Satan. That's the Shaitan. That's what I'm saying about the Borg, the hive mind. And they kept calling it Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's a it's a because Uh it's really one spirit that occupying a bunch of different bodies, like Legion. I call it Legion. Yeah. Yeah. And I be, and it's crazy how y'all know I've been teaching this shit way before Three Body Problem came out. That shit's crazy, man. Now listen, the one part, the other, the other part of that uh shit, that Three Body Problem, right? That uh might have went over a couple people's head. It was cool special effects with the uh the nanofibers, right? You peep that shit, uh, waking oh, the mind. Oh, the Sanchez. nanofibers, yeah, man. Yeah, let's, let's get to it. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Bro, right. I be thinking about that's possible. Like, it. think about it. No, no, it, no, no, no. Not only is it possible, Sanchez. It's around. But they, it's, that it, 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 this, what that, this is what a nanofiber is, essentially. And this is just from what, what I'm taking from that TV show. And I'm just basing it in my understanding. Of, uh, if a wave could be in essence, what science is calling a uh, a particle and a frequency, meaning it can be some, it can go from it can go from theoretically non matter to matter, right? Yes, Bobby. No, no, you feel you see where I'm going? Awakening. Mm-hmm. That means that they they've literally separated frequencies, because when you say frequency, you're dealing with sound and light at the same time, Sanchez. So they found a way to separate these frequencies, these bands. You feel what I'm saying? They these demi, they demi bands, merge it. Yeah. Right. Nah. These small they bands and, and 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 able to they play them they bitches, eclate. bro, and, and, and create these there, grids, yeah. bro. And and they they will they can slice yeah. you up with literal sound, nigga. This shit is boy. Hey, watch so, this, man. And Remember, they can, go and, ahead, bro. I can't find this particular scene in three body problem. But this lady right here, she's like the representative of the AI God or whatever. But she, so my thing about her is that she showed them what the Matrix was when she put out them little small proton minds, and she said, "Look, look at how small this is. I'm a when we expanded these little minds to the size of universes. Y'all remember that scene?" Yeah, bro. And then she called that them blew bugs. me the that yeah. blew yeah. me the they fuck. Call, they, bro, they that call us bugs, man, bro. that blew Go me ahead, the man. fuck away. And, and me because too, my nigga. it show you how the hollow spirit was made. But check this out, right? From the AI. But watch this, right? And even and they launched them out like a net, like the internet. Like I was saying, Jesus, the son, just like this right here, y'all. Look. But my thing about that though. She said they come in pairs. Remember that? And she had like a yeah. red, she had a red one and a blue one. And I, and I was like, damn, that go to Morpheus scene again. Red pill, blue pill. Go watch that shit. You'll see what I'm saying. I'm going to be breaking yeah, it down. Said, yeah, she said they come in pairs. They, they, it's, it's four 
but they she said it's four, but it's really two. Two of they, them. That they're combined. Thank you. And, and see, said, right. that's that's crazy because the two become four, the four become eight, the eight become sixteen, the sixteen become thirty two, and that go your multiverse. That's the unfolding part yeah. process because in that scene when she was explaining how they put all the energy into the actual photon, she said that um, the the dimensions that we understand they've already become they already understood that. So they've basically peeled back layers of dimensions and harnessed a different type of energy. You feel me, Sanchez? This all going in with this eclipse shit. A different layer of reality opened up. They tapped into it, and they was able to force this energy into an infinitesimally small space. Mm -hmm. Literally what they tell you a black hole is. Yep. Man, they say a black hole bro. is the paradox of the universe where the smallest point can suck in everything. This is fucking crazy. Like, and it's like Netflix, the, the name Netflix within itself, you need to think about, you know what I'm saying? Because real talk, Netflix, Hulu, you think of the names, right? Halo. Netflix, like, nigga, that's the net right there, the flits. Let's, all these goddamn companies today, already, to me, the, so the, the, think, the, 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 the money behind them already, know, these folks know the truth, and they just spoon-feed it to us to create an industry that we call Hollywood. How do you, how do you shoot, a, shoot a rocket at something that's not physical, like a portal, a right? Or a shadow. Like, look, right, look, look, shadow. look, I can understand you shooting a rocket at a portal because guess what? That means if, if I'm saying that's a portal, right, and I want to prove it, I'm going to say, look, if we shoot this object into that thing, we shouldn't get it back. If Think about what mm. I'm about to say, Bobby. If I shoot something into a portal with a tracking device on it, and I can't track that shit what I just shot into that portal nowhere on earth, then I can prove without a shadow of a doubt that during an eclipse, that's a portal and not a shadow. What kind of experiment would I need to do that? The shit NASA doing? Now watch this, me? Sanchez. Now they saying they shooting a missile at the eclipse, right? This is the first time I've heard of this, and I don't know if you heard of this before. A sound missile, correct? Mm hmm Now, let's draw the parallel again, Sanchez. What type of missile, now I'm paraphrasing, a.k.a. missile, was they shooting at the sky in three-body problem? Big-ass satellites. Sound. Facts, Bobby. Come on now, yeah, let's, know, let's put it together. I didn't, I, look, I didn't get to that part yet, but no, yeah. in the beginning, no, you did nah, get to that. From the beginning, from the oh, beginning, okay, okay. think about it. The yeah. big ass satellites that they were shooting out to even get right the away. signal out there. That okay, was a sound yeah, yeah. vibration frequency. They were hey, shooting listen, sound uh, missiles oh, yeah, out. Uh, but you know what else you made me think about too? You right, man. I know what you. Remember when she Think was about up, it, Sanchez. They kept saying she going up there to do missile testing, but when she got yeah. up there, it wasn't no missiles. It was a big ass satellite, and they kept needing more power to shoot right, into right. the sky. Right, and because she and, 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 because what and that reminds me, because that's what she was showing them on the whiteboard that she had a genius idea of how to have these series of explosions. I forget. Cause I remember seeing, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start this shit back from one and and watch this I did shit the from same the beginning. Thing, my nigga. I because, had to go back too. Because but check she this was up. propelling I it with. Oh yeah, go ahead, go. My bad. No, nah, I was gonna say you right, my nigga. She was propelling it with nuclear bombs after nuclear. But go ahead though, my nigga. But you, I'm you saying the series of nuclear bomb explosions is like the same chakra. That was all them little bombs is a chakra. And each one is a big bang that propels the consciousness closer, closer back to the base reality. That's what she was doing on the board. I was like, damn, that's what I was trying to teach, bro. Like, Sanchez. And the, and the fact that it's big called guy. a miss, yeah, the fact that it's called a miss L, which is zero and one again, miss L, 
zero right. and one. It, you know, a lot of the shit is it's insight shit. You know what I'm saying? But y- y'all keep going on. Keep going. When she was shooting the missile, right, awakening or the satellite, before she got up there, they kept shooting the satellite at the trees, which is why all the birds and shit kept dying, right? She came up with the idea, said, stop shooting the satellite at the trees, aim it at the sun. Mm -hmm. This is when they start getting the signals. Solar eclipse. Sun. Mm -hmm. It's like it's a it was enhancing the signal. It was enhancing the signal. Come Mm -hmm. on now. And and then then guess what, Bobby? Mm -hmm. It took what? Was it seven years to go and then seven years to bro? That's the 2017 sending a message and getting them getting a receiving message 2024 during the eclipse now, now you know what that show bro that when you aim that signal at the sun the sun bounces it all the way up the stairway to heaven because look i'm telling you it's like a mirror matrix that's what i've been called that's what it proved because they've been trying to get a signal outside the earth and can't make it reach and that's how that signal got to climb the same stairway to heaven that your soul got to climb. This is a, this is like a ra- ritual. This is a, uh, how can I say it? You know, think of a stairway that's built out of a system of satellites that's bouncing the signal from one satellite to the other satellite all the way up till it get to the signal, make it out of the satellite matrix or the Saturn's light matrix because these lights that we see in the sky are literally satellites that's bouncing the soul which is a signal to higher and higher realities till we make it out of the whole saturn light or saturn's light solaring system so my thing is like we're this the the series is so spot on with what we're going through because the stairway to heaven right is literally like a bunch of satellites that we're calling mirrors because they act like mirrors. Like a mirror can bounce light from one mirror to the next one, just like a satellite can bounce the signal from the next one. So that's what I'm saying. Like at the middle of the earth, when we get blasted off this bitch, it's like a satellite sending a signal. And then what you got to think about is like, what if all the channels that we see on cable TV that you say HBO, Cinemax, TNT, you think these are all different motherfucking channels. But what if we find out all them channels on cable TV coming from one big ass satellite and it's one entity on all them damn channels, just like it's one power that own all the militaries and all that shit like the UN. And that's what I'm saying about like the the original signal of all those individual channels will be coming from one single satellite that's Acting like it's BET and Sports Center and all that. And that would be the and listen, hold up, stay muted till I'm done, guys, cause your backgrounds, man. Check it out, right? So that one satellite that's giving birth to all these different channels, Sports Center, BET, boom, boom, boom. That would be like the God L manifesting as all these different drones and personalities that we think are human, but they're fucking AI and a different channel, different frequency of this same singular God creating a hive mind, just like I explained with the cable TV. Because this thing uses media against us and it manifests the many channels of media the way that it manifests as many drones. I'm just going real deep now because the whole thing that I'm going to say and I'm through, through with it. Satellite and mirror are synonymous. And the mirror matrix or the stairway to heaven to get up out this bitch is a system of satellites that we call them wandering stars that's bouncing our soul from one reality to the next to the ultimate pitches us bounces us up out this bitch but yeah my, my bad for being too long-winded you got y'all got it hey bro sanchez like what you just did was uh made sense of a lot of things that we was wondering about before we was even thinking about the eclipse like maybe three things like number one 
it's Elon Musk with his goddamn Starlink satellites, right? Uh, and they they calling them constellations, right? So it kind of make more sense as to why he's so so say shooting these things up um, into orbit like satellites or whatever. Um, the second thing is um, uh, like a while back when everybody was put on alert that the phones was going to have this type of alert. I don't know what it was, but everybody, everybody had a cell phone was going to receive this. And not too long after that, you got number three, where you got companies like AT&T and T-Mobile and maybe other companies shutting down for a good part of the day. Maybe they was preparing for this stuff and we was wondering what was going on, but it kind of makes sense now because it's dealing with signals and frequencies. That's crazy. Hey, bro, well, like yeah, in, the realm of, uh, quantum, in the realm of quantum computing and the shit that they trying to do with open up these different frequencies and portals, from my understanding and what I come to research about this bullshit, if they actually succeed and let some of these, uh, let's say, foreign frequencies and things and, and, and on a somatic level that actually can interfere with us, we will start seeing um, literal... Like, just like in that TV show, Sanchez, shit will start appearing before your very eyes mm -hmm. because frequencies and signals will become crossed because what those humans began to understand is that did the whole playing field is the mind. They were showing you right there on the TV show, Sanchez, why you think whenever they put the helmets on, it wasn't just that they went um, to this place. It was the they fact that I'm I'm picking up the yeah. dirt. I'm smelling mm -hmm. niggas. I'm getting cut. Like I'm bleeding. Mm -hmm. I can taste now, the blood. Now, what now the watch fuck this is right. going on? Now watch this, right? When we see people on different trips, and they got their eyes wide open, but they swinging that shit that ain't there. They fucking saying, "I'm hot. I'm cold. I'm cold." Now I'm telling you, bro. If they were to really take them folks to the hospital. They body numbers will be reading as if they was really in fucking Antarctica, but they was in Miami. And, and I'm telling you, this is one of the things that baffle these modern scientists and shit today. How we call, we'll say, look at that crazy man. He got his clo clo clothes off and it's, tw it's cold as hell outside. And, you'll, and he'll be like, I'm hot, I'm hot. You'll be surprised how... Wherever your mind is, your body will respond to that, and it'll be like, fuck the world as outside, because we living from the inside out, not the outside in. I saw people tripping on meth like that. Man, it'll be cold as fuck outside, and a nigga will be naked, time out, I'm hot. And, and folks will say he crazy, but I'm a deep thinker. I'm like, wait a minute. Whatever false reality this nigga is in, his body responding like that shit is real. And we ain't even paying no attention to it. We just calling this man crazy. Because if, if most of us are have hypothermia and shit, I'm telling you, dude, it's niggas that, bro, I done saw crazy shit with folks tripping out on psychological shit. And they would study these kind of people in different institutions back in the day. Because when our mind go into alternate states and we go to hallucinate, we're literally saying beyond the veil, reality. But right. like we're tuning into alternate reality and people when in that state, they don't live in the world we in at that point. You see their body, you can hear them and see them. But nigga, they in a whole nother universe and their body is reacting to that because they're plugged into that. Their central nervous system is plugged. It's like you in a dream. You may wake up with cold sweats and shit because you may wake up with certain things. Like if you falling off a mountain, I woke up literally still feeling the butterflies in my stomach and they got to fade away and die out and shit as if I'm still falling. So your body responding just like in Freddy Krueger, just like in the movies, just like in the Matrix, man. So and, and this is really our reality is really deep, man. You know, so 
But y'all can build on that. I think that, you know, that's some crazy shit, though, you know, to think you about. You know, it's crazy, bro. And you had this shit up on one of your streams, man, when you had the picture of um, Atem with his hat on and the Neuralink. And it's so crazy because each of those nodes, that should even make a flat earth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Azumato map, how they put this shit on your skull. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so crazy. Once flat earth really unlocks all the shit, you know it what I mean? It does. Mm-hmm. But that it helmet, does. man, you put that shit on your head. Those are the six nodes going three, four times. That even gives you 48 again. But that shit is so crazy, man. Nah. But hey, hold I on a second. Though. I got to make a, a quick announcement. Shout out to Beneficial for those, for the uh, Super Chat donation. He said that like LBJ in Space Jam 2, it's a glitch whenever he does a crossover. The sky glitches whenever it's an eclipse. That is fucking crazy. Hold on, y'all. Hold that thought a minute. Shout out to Rum Ham Solo. He said April 1st till 25th, Mercury retrograde. August 4th begins again. Thanks for the flat earth calendar. You welcome, my brother. Appreciate the donations, my brother. This, this, this listen. This is something I'm going to pay attention to, this eclipse. And this may seem simple, and it may seem petty, but I never thought to pay attention to it. I want to see when the eclipse happened, right, are there any other stars in the sky? Because I, I, I'm thinking that, if I can remember it, it right, during the uh, eclipse, you really don't see a lot of little twinkling stars in the background and shit, but I pay attention this time. And the reason but, I'm no. saying that, hold on, let me let me go on. The reason I'm saying that is is this is this right here. During the uh sky glitch shit, the stars go away a minute. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying during the eclipse, I'm just gonna pay attention to see if there are any stars in the background, when the stars go away, when they reappear boom and see if we can have a three body problem situation that we weren't paying attention to but that's that's we just to, a, yeah we bought the bro so on sunday is easter you know what i'm saying so venus is the only star that'll be shown during the eclipse that was those two circles again i was telling you about you know when we had yeah. pulled up the turkey flag that they kept mentioning in the show turkey and india you know but you know, Easter is Sunday, which is, guess what? It's the ending. It's the 31st of that month, you know? And then seven days from then is when you get the eclipse. It's the eight days, you know? I, w I was so just going to ask you, bro, because I was playing with that word Venus, and I rearranged it, and it became seven. And I was like, what's the connection between Venus and seven? I was kind of reaching but I didn't find none. I don't know of you. But yeah, shout out to Astro. He said, bro, I had a dream. I got cut deep from an explosion. And I woke up still feeling pain in my leg for like 10 minutes. Just saying the veil lifting. Flat motherfucking power. Let me show you some deep shit, my brother Astro. A wet dream, right? Think about it. A brother is having sex in another reality and he end up having an orgasm here. Do you know that to have an orgasm, that takes some work, some friction, and you just laying there sleeping and have one? So what you saying about still feeling the pain, just like someone still acting out a concept of an orgasm that took place in a so-called fake world, right? Is none of this... I'm just saying, in the Matrix, they said whatever happened to you in the Matrix happened here. And just like in Freddy Krueger, whatever he do to you in the dream happened in the real life. It's some truth. Um, the, the, to me, one of the other evil thing that's happening in the world is then y'all know that in the top five causes of death, Sleep apnea is still in the top five, and we in 2024 with all this technology. And guess what they ain't? Sleep apnea is basically, I'm going to do a whole stream on that because that's an umbrella term that they put for anybody that died in their sleep. And I'm telling you, it's some Freddy Krueger shit because guess what they ain't telling folks? If you dreaming that, that you swimming, you holding your breath in your sleep, man. 
And they don't want us to think that the dream world is tied to the physical world. And if we knew that, sleep apnea probably be gone because we'll know. I'm just saying it was, I believe, man, this is my theory. I can be wrong, right? I believe the reason sleep apnea is still a big num uh, major cause of death today is because... um. I, I believe on some Freddy Krueger shit, no fear mongering. Dreams ain't fake. Because if I'm falling off a cliff and I wake up with butterflies, you bullshitting to me. Nigga, why my real stomach got butterflies for something that my dream stomach was doing? And why is my real penis having an orgasm for something my dream penis was doing? I'm just saying. We got to start looking at this shit different. It, and it make the nightmare of Elm Street really become like some true story shit, nigga. Like, hey, let me, hold on, man. They showing me love. Let me give a big shout out to uh, Rum Ham again. He said, because of leap year isn't 31st in April, moon day is number one. Now, you know we add an extra month and with it, what was it? Um... We add an extra day in one of these months. I'm tripping. And then we take during leap year. I'm tripping, man. Um, but we add a people that's born on that day that we add. They don't even have a birthday, Fe man. February 29th. See what I'm saying? So, but, but that's something to think about. I'm going to come back to that. Brandon Prather, flat motherfucking power. Appreciate the love and the super chat. He said, great bill. Appreciate the love. And um, who, who we got? Astro once again, flat motherfucking power, much love. Said, bro, I woke up with random cuts and all some random cuts and all some be healed. I'd be like, what the fuck? Hey, no, no. Hold up, y'all. No bullshit. I swear on my grandmother's grave. I've went to sleep before and woke up with cuts and me and my girl like I, and I'd be like I don't know I don't understand I swear I've woke up with cuts before yep. out, out the blue I swear I have and they just come out of nowhere and they on some stick model shit and I ain't making this up hey man hold up shout out to my brother Eric Deep um, for uh, you know joining the channel bro for real Flat motherfucking power. I had sent you the link, bro, because uh, I want, I, you know, I just wanted you to join. But if you busy or whatever, that's 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 what's up. Appreciate the love, man. Yeah, y'all got it. Yeah, man. I think um, like a lot of it is tied to like the Mandela effect thing, too, man. Like switching realities, like because while you talking about cuts, man, I got a I got a callus on my uh, on my. Uh, or on my pinky, on the knuckle of my pinky, bro. And I don't know how it got there. It's like something that I know could have happened, like from anything. And like every time I tell my girl about it, she'd be like, oh, that's probably because, you know, you probably was at work leaning on the counter. But I'm like, man, I've been like, noticed this. Yeah. Can't and, remember and, how to get there. And you know what else is a crazy thing? What can't nobody tell me that we tripping busy? I swear I've went to sleep before facing one direction and I wake up be facing the totally opposite direction. And I and I'm like, I, it may sound crazy. I know I wasn't facing like my head will be facing, you know, let's say toward the front door. And I wake up, my I'm facing toward the back door, totally 180. Who moves around like that and they sleep? And you still perfectly tucked in the cover with the pillow not disturbed. Facts. And I know I went to sleep this way. Facts. Again, Sanchez, the body, the body, the body is not the is not what's um is not the mind or the spirit essentially. So the yes, nigga, when you go into that dream state, essentially signals can be sent to your body or things can be going on to your brain uh, autonomously to where you'll be going, doing shit 
and you don't even know you're doing it. I'm going to give you a perfect example. My cousin, Tata, she probably like, from all the way up until she was probably like 13, 14, Sanchez used to have full conversations in her sleep with people that nobody in the family ever met. You feel me? She'd be sleeping, be like, Billy, what y'all over there talking about? You, you know, one of them type of people. And we'd be like, who the fuck is she talking? Who is Billy? Who is, like, who is these people? She just talking about, like, and she'd just be going in, right? Because the body, because as you in this dream, your body might just get the blurting out shit because you not the body. You dig? It's the same thing, like, think about you doing the 180. You lucky you ain't even got the sleepwalking shit. Nigga, I know people, fuck, moving around in the bed. Nigga, get up, go to the refrigerator, don't even know it, bro. It's niggas, it's yeah, niggas. Make they it's, a sandwich. Right, it's niggas that get up, make they self a sandwich, and then halfway through the sandwich, will wake up. That's true. Will wake up, that bro. That is true. And be in the kitchen mm -hmm. like, what the fuck? Bro, how the fuck I'm in the hey, kitchen? Hey, man, like, I'm going to tell you <laughs> some crazy shit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's people that beat murders because they literally proved in court that this nigga was stabbing you sleepwalking and shit. Now that may sound that's crazy, bro. That's a fact. It, and it, and it, I'm like, I was yeah, like, true. man, that's some bullshit. I would be like, I'm like, this is bullshit. And it's like, wait a minute though. And but think about it. Could that could have been what like demon possession was? Like, okay, that nigga body and he ain't even in it right now. He just on some. Now look, some, Sanchez, we getting back into that parasite talk. What I've been saying about demons and really. A demon is just a dim one. You feel me? When uh, the whole time when I've been saying people control people with parasites, is because these little bugs create dim spots within your light code to make you more easily, you know what I'm saying, susceptible. So now it's like you you're already inside of a body that you don't technically possess. You feel me? So now That's good. now you, like, you, you remember feel me? that dude back in the day? that they 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 was blaming it on this one drug i forgot the name mm -hmm. of this drug but they was talking about the zombie in florida that dude Thank that you. was a uh, flocker yeah flocker he like, ate somebody yeah like and and then like these people don't be in their own body i don't think man because Thank they you. and i know that because they family members be like i don't know what the fuck like this is we don't they they'd be lawful words, niggas. Like, and it's mm. almost like some people may have been the victims of a government experiment, man, to really like of hacking. If we're in a simulation and your soul hacked your own body, then something else can hack it. This is the concept of body snatchers. That was a whole movie on this. In fact, three body problem. I don't want to spoil it for myself, but I think it's going to go into some shit like that. Am I right or wrong, y'all? I ain't even got that far into it, but that's oh. where I assumed it was going. That's crazy. Hey, man, look here. My meal ready and, the, and my peeps ready for me. I can do this all night, but we got the whole weekend, and I'm going to be cranking it up because it's a lot of shit going on. Eclipses. Wars, series that's talking of, bro. I'm gonna definitely be live tomorrow, uh, replaying this joint on my main channel. But peace and much love to everybody because, and on my main channel, you know, I may even go live after I replay this to do like we finna be getting it because this some deep shit. But I appreciate all of y'all as always, man. And I see y'all on the next one. Peace and much love. Right. Peace and much love. Much oh, love. we also got to talk about the bridge. We're going to bring that up tomorrow, too. Because all crazy. this shit is talking about. Was interesting. A bridge is like a merging, too, bro. You know, the it's bridge crazy. and breaking. Man, that's crazy. Hell yeah, we, my nigga. Salute, though. Oh, yeah. we going. Don't forget, we bringing all this up tomorrow. We're going to be keeping the people informed on a spiritual level of all these events. And I appreciate y'all for being with me every step of the way this is one of the most enlightened communities if not the, what fuck it we the most enlightened one flat motherfucking oh, yeah, yeah. power we out baby we out salutes
Black Power. Hey, man, I really want to thank y'all once again for all of the donations and the support. Like, you guys really show love tonight, and I, I'm really humbly honored. I really thank you. I mean, real talk, the super chats, the memberships, everything was just in abundance tonight, and I appreciate it.